we go through this all the time. See, here's the deep You're question. gonna fall in love with the it, robot yeah. at the end. See. Thin Tucks and Moose Jaw. Mark Cromper Weaves. My name is Cole. His (laughs) name is Mike. His name is Jay. We like anime. And this is episode 142 of Annie Pro. And on this week's episode, it is the summer 2024 seasonal check in. So, uh, here's what we're going to do we're going to talk about all of the shows that are coming out this season. Go figure. Makes sense. That's what we do here. We do things. We do things that make sense. That's the mm-hmm. Annie Pro way. Mm-hmm. We're just we're starting now anyway. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we yeah. strive for. That's what we strive yeah. for. We're not making dollars. Um, <laughs> we stri- no. 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 Just making sense. sense. Just sense. We're yeah. making yeah. sense. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, gentlemen, I'm I'm tired. I'm yeah. tired. I was at a wedding yesterday. Mm-hmm, I had to mm-hmm. get I had to get my money's worth out of that out of that uh, open bar. Mm-hmm. Uh, my voice sounds a little haggard, but that's that's okay. That's okay. Well, you know what? Um, that that's that's partially why I requested we recorded later today because it was like I know you guys are yes. at a wedding. Let's let's see You're if so we can thoughtful. push it back later in the day. Such what a thoughtful a, young lad. What a nice boy. What a nice, what boy. A nice boy. Yeah, yeah. It was a good wedding though. Mike yeah. was there as well. I was. I was yeah. there. It was our good friend, previous uh, guest host of the podcast, Nug Deep's wedding, and it was mighty lovely. It was mighty lovely. Mighty drinks were had. Mighty food was feasted upon. Mm-hmm. They had beef jerky. I ate so much beef jerky. Yeah, Cole ate like an objectively co- concerning amount of the... Di- <laughs> of, it was dragon jerky, by the way, Cole, because it was a Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings yeah. themed wedding. Oh, was yeah. it? That's I awesome. I couldn't stop, though. Like the yeah. the jerky, it just goes so well with alcohol, and I didn't it realize it goes well with alcohol until I started eating it while drinking, and it was you're the salty. eating like a little hobbit, basically, like a little yeah. adventurer. You were eating yeah. like a medieval peasant, eating a lot <laughs> ale and jerky and bread. He he was the mm-hmm. golem of uh of of the refreshment section. Always is. Yeah, that's it was pure <laughs> pure protein though. No no carbs were had. It was all beef jerky. <laughs> by, by the way, by or the way, Cole, wish the liquid bread was had. Yes, that wish, was. Uh, wish Nug Deepa congratulations from me. I will when I see him. He's. Yeah. I don't know. He's still <laughs> he's out like standing behind about. you. <laughs> no, I think they're doing a. Shh, 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 shh. <laughs> I think they're doing a photo shoot with their pets or something today. I, yeah. I can't remember what. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Some then, sort of thing. Yeah. And then they're doing a uh, uh, little, I guess, pseudo honeymoon. Uh, they're going camping this week. So. Oh, that's fun. That's what I me won't... and uh, Shazana did actually for our little pseudo honeymoon too, as we went camping. It's also cheaper yeah. than yeah. like it's traveling yeah. across the world. Because the thing they don't tell you, well, like, they do tell you, but you kind of don't realize about weddings is like, it's bloody expensive. Oh, yeah. And it's just so stressful. Mm-hmm. So like you just kind of need to unwind somehow. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. a cheap way to unwind is nice right after yeah. all that. Yeah. Camping. From what I've heard, camping. it's also like very, it's much more stressful on the bride than it is on the groom. I don't know how true that is. Accurate. Yeah. Yeah. It's because generally the little girl has been dreaming of her wedding. Mm-hmm. For many many years yeah. whereas the guy's kind of just like oh i guess i'm getting married this is nice yeah <laughs> for the most part this is pretty if I had sweet to, like yeah if i had to like put it in like really broad strokes that's how yeah. i explain yeah. it yeah 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 jay what did you do yesterday uh mm-hmm. so so i don't have a what's on your mind section but uh for for me but i did, did we, prepare something we didn't ask what's on your mind jay we asked what you did yesterday well, we asked specifically what you did yesterday gosh darn well, it jay. Uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna hijack that question and instead let's say whatever you're gonna uh, talk we're gonna, about we're gonna, we're gonna do we're gonna do a fun segment called rank these characters without knowing what comes next oh okay <laughs> okay it's just hi- completely hijacking the show. I okay. like it. All right. All right. Well, okay. well I, I, I have nothing. I have nothing to talk about, but uh, I'm going to give you five characters and you just need to like rank okay. them uh, without without knowing what comes next. You guys ready? Okay. okay so so the, the title of your name of your game of rank these five characters without knowing what comes next is a pretty good. <laughs> yeah, one. Yeah, it's I'll like a that. light novel title. <laughs> yeah. 
can you, it can you go over the rules for this game? <laughs> Is there any other rules? <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm going to give you five characters. Okay. okay. Uh, and we you need to like... give me the, the price that you'd know. I'm kidding. Uh, you need to rank them. <laughs> okay. So uh, the first character, don't think too hard about this. First character, Seto Kaiba. Okay. Uh, four. Four, Cole. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, Ye two. Okay. Ray Kiriyama Ooh. from March Comes in Like a Lion. Five. <laughs> Number one, baby. Let's go. <laughs> okay. okay. Damn it, I put Takahiba too low. <laughs> Monkey D. Luffy. <laughs> five. Ooh, two. How many characters? Yeah, there's five characters. Six? Well, yeah, five. Yeah. It, the Six. name of the game <laughs> is Rank These Five Characters. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm not clear on these rules. Yeah. <laughs> so Mike has one and three. Cole has yeah. I'm trying to remember. I think Cole has two and four. Two and four. Okay. One, two, five. Yeah, so you have oh, two and four. Left over, yeah, yeah. Three three and three four. And four yeah. Left. yeah. Mi Mikasa Ackerman. Three. Oh. She has to go either one or four for me, I think, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, four. Okay. I'm gonna go four. I feel like I'm gonna hate that decision, though. I'm okay. gonna regret this. Uh, Cole, you're number four. Or did you give... It, it's number four. That's like... Okay. Yeah, yeah, number four is... And yeah. Mike, your number one character <clears throat> is Mr. Mime. Oh, hell yeah. I'm, I'm fine <laughs> with this. Okay. Mr. Yeah. Mime's my bro. So what are they doing? <laughs> what did we rank them? To oh, just, we, just, we just ranked yeah, them. Yeah, we just ranked them. Yeah. It was just, yeah. Have you never okay. been... Have you never seen these on TikTok, Cole, where you have no, to rank No, I, I thought... I thought that there was another hat here. Like no, that's uh, it. So we we rank them, and then you tell us what we rank them in after the fact. So you're oh, like, no, no, no. and these no, no. you rank them oh. to who you want to. Well, I wouldn't have put Seto Kaiba so high. <laughs> no, that's the, that's the fun of it is you don't know you don't know what what's coming next. next. Yeah. See, oh, okay. You rank five characters, but here's the catch. You don't know what comes next. Yeah. No, no, I got that. I got yeah. that. I thought we were ranking them to oh, do have something. Have you ever read a light like novel? Our favorite characters. <laughs> the the, no, the I... descriptions in the title. <laughs> I thought we were ranking them to do something. Not. I. I no. didn't know that we were just ranking you're them ranking based them on to... our favorite favorability. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you're ranking them to uh, be the best. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Can we start over then? No. no. <laughs> now you know what comes next. Yeah. Now you know what comes next. No. <laughs> Yeah. Uh this is this is confusing. Can we go over the rules one more time, please? <laughs> I think we I think we simply should not. You know, do that. you know what? I think we you know should what, Cole? not. Maybe well. we'll do one of these again so you'll know the rules and then we can uh you yeah. can actually play the game properly. Oh, you know, we forgot to say at the beginning they should have commented who they what their order was in blind order too. Mm. In either the Discord or like on the YouTube yeah. video. That would have been smart. We're not smart though. We're not. Oh, no. We're not smart. We're yeah. trying. We're doing our best, though. Yeah. Um, if, gentlemen, if, if what our do you listeners say we... are, are smarter than us, they would have done it themselves without us having to tell them. They, I think they're objectively smarter than us. I think I we think found so that too. out. I think so, too. Through clinical trials. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, let's, let's get into the, the anime this season, though. Let's... Does that sound good to you? That sounds like fun. That, that sounds super <clears throat> duper... That sounds very lame and boring and dumb and stupid. I disagree. I disagree, uh, Jay. Yeah, let's... You know what? Let's go over our uh, continuing anime mm -hmm. this season. So I'll, I'll just kind of run through the list and see if, if you guys have uh, taken any of this these shows in, if you guys have heard anything about them or anything like that. So we'll start with the most popular show for this season, according to Annie List, as of this date, the mysterious date that we record on. Uh, Oshinoko Season 2. Uh, mm -hmm. I've seen some some things about it, but I really don't know. I, I know the animation and it looks looks killer. I mean, Dokakobo is kind of killing the, it. With yeah, yeah they've, is, kinda, they've really started killing the story it like good is the story good I, I don't know yeah it's like it's honestly it's like they took the first season and kind of just amped up the animation like just the production values of it like they knew they had a hit so they just amped the production values like mm -hmm. it looks incredible mm -hmm. um the only thing that's kind of different that i find kind of weird is that it is kind of a drastic departure in tone and like it's honestly almost like a self-contained 
story like you could probably watch this and not have watched the first season and you probably wouldn't be missing that much at this point because like mm -hmm. all of the plot points from the first season kind of are just on on hold for until this play is over mm. but it's like it's it's really compelling stuff it's really good right now it really reminds me a lot of our manga review that we did for act age jay's mm. little manga pick there mm -hmm. Because this arc is all about like they're having a play, and I think Ox Oc was using the play to try to find who uh, he's trying to further his revenge stuff. plot. Yeah, but it's uh, it's mostly focusing on kind of side characters right now and their interactions, mm -hmm. and a little bit of like in inner stuff with with uh, Aqua. So it's mm -hmm. it's kind of interesting. The only thing that's kind of depressing about this season is that uh, you don't see much of uh, B. Komachi this season, which is uh, kind of a shame, honestly. You don't see uh, Ruby or any of them, so, yeah. Anyone else? Are you guys I know Cole's not checking out. Jay, have you checked this one out at I'm all? I'm gonna be honest, I kind of fell off from the anime. Uh-oh. Uh Ooh. They're coming. They're coming. You hear that, Jay? That's an angry mob. That is an angry mob. Uh, They're coming yep. for you. But, like, I've heard that on, on the production side, this show looks fantastic, but also it's not as popular as season one was. Is yep. what I've heard about it. Yep. And I mean, it it does, uh, I think a part of it does attribute to the fact that High Dive A, I don't think is as widely available as it was when season one was out. And B. That is true. Uh, it just like, I, I think the magic of that first episode, which was what everyone was really talking about, kind of has died down. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I feel like the first season kind of, after that first episode mm -hmm. being so good, it kind of just sort of went, it was like really, really high at the start. And then the hype kind of slowly died down. And a lot of people, I don't even think finished the first season, mm -hmm. maybe. Or they just moved I on think to the manga. Sorry, Cole, go ahead. Yeah, I think High Dives, they've kind of like, uh, I, I don't want to say like blown their advertising budget too early in the year, but like they didn't really advertise any of their shows this season. Mm -hmm. uh, I got a lot of ads for that gushing over mm -hmm. Magical Girls show. To be honest that was with two you. seasons ago. That was this year. That was two seasons ago. I'm talking about this season. Oh, I see what you're saying. I yeah. see what you're saying. You said uh, yeah, I think. I said season. Um, yeah, Oshinoko season two. They're not really advertising. Mm -hmm. Two point five uh dimensional seduction. They're not really advertising. Has yeah. anybody heard anything? Like, we'll talk about this a bit in the second half, yeah. but just to prove my point, has anybody heard anything about plus sized elf? Uh, I've seen a few clips on like, uh, like Facebook or Twitter and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, it's rather it's rather sparse. Yeah, like yeah. I don't even think I've uh, I don't even think I've seen anything to be honest. This but season, to be honest with you, is kind of a down season. People are kind of outside right now for the most part. I know it's we're anime fans, we don't touch grass, but like it's it's summertime, guys. I don't know. I think yeah, there are yeah. some like bangers this season. There's, there's some there bangers is for sure. Yeah, but I think and just we'll overall less yeah. popular. Yeah. And yeah. to your guys' point, I pulled up the first season of Oshinoko. It is on Annulus, the 153rd most popular of all time show. Yeah, mm. and season two is the 494th most popular. Yeah, mm -hmm. so you do expect just a, a bit of a just, drop off, but yeah, that's that mm -hmm. seems a bit excessive. That's steep. Uh, anyway, let's let's bang keep an going. OP, bang an ED, by the way, for this season. Yeah, the OP yeah, and ED are fantastic. Where they continue the tradition. They actually pulled in. Uh, uh, Jay, who's your who's the person who did the the ED you liked so much from season one? There, I can't remember their name right Queen now. Queen B. Queen B. Yeah. Queen B. Isn't that who's doing the OP for the season two here? I think so. I don't remember. I haven't oh, heard no, the I, OP in a I while. Know. I just remember it was good. No, it says here by Gemnon, G E M N. I don't know who that is. It's. I thought it was Queen B. It kind of sounds like them. Yeah. Garmin. Any. Anyway. The anyway. Garmin, the GPS providers. Uh, let's talk about the next continuing show on the list here. Tower of God season two. I've been seeing more about this one, but I think it's because it's such a huge departure from mm -hmm. the first season, like artistically, mm -hmm. story wise. Like uh, I haven't watched it. Yeah, I haven't watched it. I'm not particularly interested in it. Mm -hmm. uh, I know I th Mike, I think you were you were on board for this one a little bit. I was and I am watching mm -hmm. it, actually. And Jay was about to say something though. I don't want to. Oh yeah, no. Give I was just. Floor. I was just like saying, like in every aspect, it's it's different. Like, like Cole was saying, uh, story wise, animation wise, I think it's a different studio. Even 
that's doing this. Yeah, it's by mm -hmm. the Answer Studio, mm -hmm. which is illustrious. I'm, I'm looking through their stuff right now, and it doesn't seem like they're particularly an acclaimed studio <laughs> that gets trusted with uh, high value works. They got trusted um, with Tower of God season two, though. So. Well, that might be indicative mm -hmm. of the nature of Tower of God season two. Uh, Jay, have you read the manhwa for this one? I actually don't know. I haven't. I I tried, and like I got like maybe five minutes into the first chapter, and I was just like, "This ain't it, dog." Yeah. So, basically, what's happened so far, Cole? You you've watched most of the first season, I believe. Yeah. And you know what yeah. happens at the end of the first season, the cliffhanger mm -hmm. there. Yeah. And this takes place. It's one of those situations where it takes place clearly after that. Yeah. But it just basically moves on to new characters and stuff at the start, without any explanation. Mm -hmm. It's almost like an entirely different setting with entirely different characters. It's like it's like Sao mm -hmm. War of the Underworld. <laughs> kind of. And then like the art style is completely different. Uh, it's it's literally honest to God if you didn't make it halfway through the show because it's about halfway through this season they kind of bring back the old characters and um if you didn't make it that far in the show you legitimately wouldn't know this was tower of god yeah like if, if you it's, didn't know it was yeah tower of god obviously yes because there's no there's no connecting threads other than there is a tower but even the tower kind of seems to work differently now i don't know it just and it just kind of is missing i enjoyed the first season didn't love it mm -hmm. But it seems like it's kind of missing the uh, the juice. It doesn't have the, the juice, juice this season. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know what? Like, I wasn't a big fan of Tower of God season one. Mm -hmm. uh, but, like, in hindsight, I could give it props for its, like, unique art style. Mm -hmm. Now Tower of God just kind of looks like a dime a dozen anime, you know? Like, it, ha it took mm -hmm. its one yeah. thing that it had going for it, and it kind of just, like... Yeah. It... Honestly, like as I was watching it, and I'm, I don't know why I'm still watching it, but I'm like kind of intrigued. I kind of want to see what happens. Like I want to know. So the mystery kind of is like, who is this new dude? Is he, is he the, anyway, yeah, you're, you're trying to figure out what's going on. What, what mm -hmm. happened after the first season? And um, it's just like, it, I kept thinking to myself, this just feels like an ultra low budget Hunter Hunter ripoff mm -hmm. a little bit. And I just is Korea's Hunter Hunter is uh, kind from, of from what I've heard about Tower of God because like I I didn't really care to watch the anime when it started and I couldn't get into the man to, into the manhwa but like a lot of people compare it to Hunter Hunter um, mm -hmm. and obviously Hunter Hunter is better but uh, I mean hey I mean comparing yeah. it to something that's beloved like that must mean something yeah 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 i mean the concern when you get compared to to something like that is mm -hmm. like people always say oh it's like hunter hunter but worse, but worse yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah at the same time you don't, I've heard you don't really like, want to carry that yeah I, I i've also heard that the adaptation of tower of god is not as good as the manhwa but like yeah. i mean it, people always say people that about always say the manga they better. say that about literally yeah. everything yeah cool yeah. cool bits about this is that i did feel like it did make me want to read the manhwa mm -hmm. and i'm not particularly a huge manhwa guy mm -hmm. but this is it's intriguing me enough because you know when like an adaptation is kind of poor and you're like i kind of want to check out the source material mm -hmm. that's sort of what's happening here a little bit and the other yeah. thing they do that's really cool and i think cole might be a fan of this is at the end the ed mm -hmm. the first like 15 seconds of the ed every episode is different and it's okay. just animating panels from the manhwa Okay. from that episode hmm. it's kind of cool it's kind of a cool move so cool ed it's got that cool. going for it which i mean is nice cool cool idea there's more visually <laughs> than the last ones yeah. <laughs> considering i think the last ed was just black scrolling text and the first oh, ed yeah. was just a flying bird with a great the, stray kids song by the way the first op was yeah infamously bad in my canon my head yeah. canon. there were a like lot of people the... that liked that op so i find it so interesting oh. that you don't like it I like the song. I, I like the song. And it's kind of just like the visuals that, are kind of lacking, but it's yeah. the song. I think that's what people confuse it. Mm -hmm. They think like, yeah. I like that OP because the song is good. It's like, okay, maybe the song's good, but like there's nothing yeah. in this OP that's yeah. like interesting yeah. at yeah. all. Yeah. yeah. Uh, anyway. Yeah. That, I, don't I think we've about spoken to... enough about Tower yeah. of God. Yes. Yeah. Um, next continuing anime is Code Geass Rosé of the Recapture. I've seen a few screenshots from the show that kind of... <laughs> 
look ridiculous, <laughs> but I haven't watched it, so I don't have much to say about it. Do you guys have anything to add? I've heard to... nothing about this show. Like, genuinely? Yeah, I've heard nothing but good things. Really? Actually. Yeah, I've heard good things. And the other thing that I found funny, and I think maybe Cole was alluding to this, is that all the screenshots I've seen, because I intend to watch this because I like Code Geass, mm-hmm. but like, all the screenshots I see are super horny. <laughs> so yeah is that yeah. what you're alluding to cole yeah there's there's this one where uh this guy's got this woman tied up tied up yeah and then uh he's saying like i hope your your stay in this something is comfortable and then the the subtitle is like laughs maniacally and i just think that that's so funny that they had to like i think if you can pick I, up I would, on that the laughter is maniacal <laughs> From, uh, from, from what I've yeah, seen that... with Disney Plus uh, subtitles, it's more like captioning than yeah. subtitling. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think so too. I think they're they're doing like closed I, captioning. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which is fine. It's just funny. Yeah, that yeah. Uh, that that screenshot in and of itself was like, I kind of want to watch the show a little bit. And yeah, I like Code Geass. So even if it's one tenth as good as like the original Code Geass, mm-hmm. that's still a pretty okay anime my my my, it's, uh, my biggest like, sitting at like a seven yeah so that's it must be a decent at least it's not bad yeah 69 percent. a very nice 69%. My, my biggest deterrent very is nice. like uh for me code geass ended with lelouch's story and because it's not yeah. lelouch and, and that yeah. like i don't know if it's gonna live up to that i get that you yeah. know but yeah yeah Do i think if you just know? treat it as as it's just a thing. side story yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do either of you know if I need to watch the movies, like the prequels, the other stuff, before I watch this? Because that's my deterrent. So, so I don't know movies, if I need to watch them or not. So the movies are kind of like uh, how Evangelion did like its yeah. movies, and it was kind of a retelling of the original story. Um, okay. And I think this is kind of a sequel to those. I think so. Okay. Yeah, because it says its prequel was Code Geass, Lelouch of the Resurrection, mm-hmm. which was one of those movies. Is that the uh, one you and I saw in theaters, Cole? I don't remember, but I remember going to that movie and being like, what is, what is what happening? Is there yeah, are yeah, characters cause... alive in that, that uh, were mm. clearly not alive. In the, <laughs> the movies, the movies the do anime. retcon a couple of things. Uh, yeah. Kind of like the Evangelion movies do, but. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, if if I had seen the the, the previous movies, I, that wouldn't have. Yeah, yeah. I think it was caught that's me off guard. Basically, what I fear with this season is that I'm going to go into it and be confused because they haven't watched the movies before, and it seems mm-hmm. like that's probably the case. See, the the thing is, like, I don't know how f- long after this takes place from the movies, where like, if you haven't seen the movies, it doesn't matter. Like, essentially, mm-hmm. the. But I, I've seen screenshots with with a couple characters who are in Code Geass mm-hmm. uh, that make a cameo in this. So I I don't I don't know I don't know what to think about yeah. this one. But mm-hmm. I'll probably watch it because I'm a weirdo, a big boy. Because <laughs> I'm a big, big, strong man, big, massive weirdo. Uh, yes. how about our last crusade or the rise of a new world season two, J? Uh, this feels like a J show. It, it, yeah. Um, so the production on this show is nuts. It's on indefinite hiatus right now uh, because mm-hmm. of production issues. And uh, I mean, it's more of this show, but at the same time, the production is so bad that I just like, I can't vouch for it whatsoever, even if you were a fan of season one. Yeah. Okay. Um, and there's another show by the same author that kind of has that same vibe where like the production and everything about it is just so poor that is it right next to this one on Annie list? Uh, when we're looking at the list here? That is yes, it is. Yeah. And we okay. can talk about that show in a bit. Um I have, yeah, we'll talk I about have that this with thing with Studio Silver. Silverlink. I have I have a bone to pick with them. Uh oh. They produce this damn show <laughs> every season. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> You know from, what I mean? From, like, yeah, from what I understand, like Silverlink is Katakawa's like main studio, and they just p- crank out what their light novel adaptations. And they're just so, they're always this show. They look like yeah. just your generic. This is a generic light novel adaptation. Yeah. It has some long light novel title, mm-hmm. some east, some light novel protagonist, some waifu. It, it yeah, it always has like and it gen- never is animated well. Yeah, 
It's, it's like it, the character designs are even like like not the character designs like from the the light novel, but like the adaptation of the character designs into anime look bad. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, they just look generic. It just looks so SAO killed everything for us. Yeah. For for the shows like this. SAO like, they just look like a, SAO characters. SAO is kind of like the king of just like generic show with yeah. generic characters. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so uh, I I have a question for my co-hosts that maybe we should mm-hmm. have talked about off air. Mm-hmm. Uh the next show was one that I drafted. Should we just keep going through the list and and no, just, no, you do it here. Yeah, just do it okay. here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, uh the next show was actually my first like number one pick that I picked. Mm-hmm. Uh and that is Kimi ni Todoke from me to you season 3 part 2. Uh, episode Electric one. Boogaloo, episode yeah. one. I've only watched episode one, so I can't speak too much to it. But mm-hmm. I mean, hey, it's Kimi Ni Todoke. Uh, it's very good. Uh, as soon as we jump back in, we got that uh, OST mm-hmm. from the, the first two seasons, and I'm just like, oh, here we go again. But I'm not like, oh, we're sh- so here back. we go again. Yeah. I'm like, we're so back. Uh, and I know a lot of people in our Discord have watched the whole season. They said it's great. Mm-hmm. Uh, or they've said it's it's more t- uh, Kimi ni Todoke. Uh, Kimi ni Todoke which I mean, is, it's sitting at the second highest rated show of 2024 right now at an 85. Yeah. So it's sitting at a very nice 85. Yeah. Uh, the the downside, of course, the elephant in the room with this one, Netflix. Mm-hmm. What are you doing? Sometimes you do good releases. Sometimes you do shit like this. Mm. And then I think, I what what don't. are we doing? I don't hate that. You guys are more anti the Netflix <clears throat> drop than me, but I'm also the, not someone who watches things as they come out either. I don't so think we'll the problem with the drop. It's more the fact that it's five episodes an, an hour long each. It's both. Okay. Uh, it's it's it, that they released five hour long episodes, which like on one hand is good. On one yeah, hand is bad. I don't mind that either. I'm not against these ideas. It My, my issue is uh, you, you've taken... A beloved property like this and nobody's talking about it because it was dumped mm-hmm. it was all dumped on netflix at once so like you've you've taken what could have been like a very exciting release and mm-hmm. you've just kind of here it is thrown it out and there. then here it is enjoy enjoy and we it's enjoy sort of, yeah we enjoy it's sort of one of those things where like I think a Netflix knows that their audience primarily is not the hardcore otaku like us mm-hmm. who are going on our podcasts and talking about these shows. Yeah. I think the average Netflix watcher is probably more like, oh, this show looks cute. I'll turn it on and then yeah. watch it and say that was good and then never talk about it to anyone. You know, there's there's upsides and downsides. I'm just being critical of something yes. that I take issue with. And that, like, I, I wish that this show was was getting more attention. I it's agree. Being, yeah. it, it's being rated very well, and people who watch the first two seasons are, are watching it, and they're excited about it. It's just, I, I wish it was more celebrated. Uh, because I've heard the good. production values are really good in this third season, too. Mm-hmm. Like, that, the I mean, Netflix hey, money went into effect. Yeah, you got that, you got that S-tier studio production IG you mean producing B-tier. a great... Mm-hmm. producing another great show another banger another absolute banger well i mean bangers IG starts with banger. b and that's the tier that that's it true. goes into yeah yeah you yeah. guys share a brain uh <laughs> we, do. we do i intend to watch i'll have watched this by the time we do our awards because i mm. i've just been like it's been a busy summer mm-hmm. and yeah. it's just like it's again what, like here, i just on? spoke up for the damn hour-long episodes yeah, but it's tough to sit down and watch an hour-long episode sometimes. You know what? Though so there, there is still like when I was watching the first episode, halfway through mm-hmm. the episode, I'm like, okay, this is when the first episode should have ended. Yeah. So oh, you still like you could pause it there and okay, pick it up. Uh, I'm not. I'm not. A it, was, it was probably I can't like do produced it. to be a full length, like ten episode show. Mm-hmm. But like Netflix was like, let's just drop it in five episodes, hour long, five and episode, get that watch time in. Yeah. I yeah. don't know, because I, I, I think I did the math on it, and yeah, the runtime of the show adds up to be, I think it's like 12 and a half or 11 and a half episodes, yeah. and maybe I mean, they just said, let's do something weird here. From what I understand, like, they stuck pretty close to the manga initially, so like, the manga was already set up to be pretty well split up into 24-minute mm-hmm. episodes regardless, so 
it makes sense if they did another season that it would have worked out to be about the same yeah. run time. And I mean, from this, uh, like, we still have, I think, eight volumes of the manga left, so there's still room yeah. for more. Oh, yeah, there's, there's a lot more. to go yeah. still. Yeah. I can't wait. I can't wait. We're so bad, yeah. baby. Yeah, it's good. It's good. That's my seal of approval. Um, speaking of it's good, my second pick of the draft is up next uh you guys can you hear me from way up here on the mountaintop that i reside yeah, upon yeah, when i drafted yeah, yeah, monogatari yeah, yeah. series off and monster season mm-hmm. um speaking it's of great. we're so back <laughs> it's so good it is really good <laughs> um i monogatari is one of those series where like you think okay i like monogatari mm-hmm. You know, it's a good show. We all know that. Mm-hmm. We all we all can establish, I think, as a baseline here on this podcast, Monogatari is a good series. Yes. Right? Yes. It's one of those shows where you go back and you start watching it again and you're like, oh my God, it's this is so really good. good. <laughs> yeah. It's kinda, so good. You kind of like forget how good it really is when you have that like it, downtime in between seasons. But then yeah. like when it comes like, uh, back, it's like, yeah. oh, this is Monogatari. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah. Uh, of course, like, you guys know me. Like, it, Monogatari is made for me, like, mm-hmm. specifically, mm-hmm. I think. Uh, it's Studio Shaft, who, I mean, yeah. the, the best. They're my favorite studio. They're a good studio. Yeah. Uh, favorite director, whose name I always forget, Jay? Uh, Akiyuki Shimbo. Thank you. Uh, and, uh, yeah, it's just so creative in its direction. Mm-hmm. It's... Uh, the character development in this series has been going great. Kanahan is always playing the lead. Uh, great OP. Bang and ED from uh, Yaoi Sobi. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Great show. Not the best ED great. of the season, but it is a good ED. It's a good ED. It is a good yeah. ED. Yeah. yeah. It's still a good ED. Good song. Mm-hmm. Like, and you guys know my, my critiques on, on that specific I'm so glad group. it's not the OP. Yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> I'm, I'm glad that we got uh, yeah. Look, essentially rent circulation part three. Uh, right? <laughs> yeah. Look, man, which we're, is so, totally fine. we're so. Cole, I'm sorry. You're going to have to bleep this. We're so fing back. We got rent eye circulation part three. Yeah. We got, we got more monogatari. This is, a good, this is a good time to live. We're eating good. What a good time we're to be alive. Good. <laughs> Mike, you're sitting there. You're quiet. Do you have anything to say about this one or. Uh, I know you're not caught up on it, but have you like what have what have you been hearing? Uh, what have you been hearing on the streets, guys, Mike? Uh, the only I've only heard you, literally you two, talking about this show, and it's been nothing but you literally just saying back and forth, "We're so back." And <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the last the listeners got a taste of it in the last five minutes here. So yeah, yeah. Honestly, Monogatari is great. I've only made it like I think I'm in second season or something like that. I think you're further than that. I don't know. I, I made it past the toothbrush second. scene. I just yeah. kind of fell off. I don't know what. I don't know why I fell off. I just kind of fell off. I I liked it, but uh, I look forward to getting here in some time in the next uh, ten years. I think. Yeah. 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 I'll watch this eventually. Uh, sitting at an eighty-eight percent. I by think the it's way, the highest analyst. rated show this season too. I mean, <laughs> oof, 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 my shoulders hurt. Uh, at an eighty-eight percent. Yeah, I would think so. Yeah. It is the number one <laughs> highest rated show. Both of all time and of 2024. So uh, I don't know about all time. I'm surprised, it's, it is very I'm surprised it's higher rated than free run, actually. It is at an 8.97 on Mal, too. Wow. Yeah. Uh, it's recency is, bias, yeah. I think. That a little is bit. two yeah. things. Recency bias and the only people still watching Monogatari at this point of this of this series here are people who f***ing love Monogatari. Mm-hmm. Cool, you're going to have to bleep yeah. that one, too. Yeah. Hey, man. It, uh, f- there we go. We there all we got go. one. We yeah, all got everybody one gets one. Every, yeah, yeah. We got one. Everybody yeah. gets everybody one. Gets one. <laughs> yeah. I it looks good. It just looks like more monogatari. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Like and that's yeah. why they they did it right. They did it right. They did they knew how to keep it monogatari enough to not upset people and just keep doing what they're doing right, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh one last thing before we move on from monogatari. Kudos to them. Uh Mike said it's it's more monogatari, but like also like the they're really bold like the main character that you've you've kind of mm-hmm. been on this ride with the whole time is not a character well the story they don't done. even say his name like the this is this is a side story right like uh, yeah. araragi's yeah. story uh, is ended with 
end story or uh yeah. owari monogatari yeah anyway so, yeah moving on moving on uh near automata ver 1.1 a core 2 what this is out go, this go is coming core? out right now yep i didn't even know this is coming out <laughs> so i did that, um and the positive the, reception too i've, I've heard like. that i've also heard yeah. like damn it sucks that uh this got delayed because not as many people are talking about it as yeah it should a lot of people been. gave up with the delay yeah we're so fickle us anime fans we're so yeah. fickle mm -hmm. yeah we got short attention spans yeah uh yeah i uh, this is the first i'm hearing about a core two <laughs> legitimately <laughs> mm -hmm. uh yeah i was surprised no, when got... you didn't draft it to be honest with you yeah me too but i guess i, I don't think you could have yeah. so yeah no i got nothing to say about yeah. this one yeah uh, Mike, oh well no nope. got anything no. i know nope. i know nothing about near other than i want to play it one day yeah. yeah um okay just quickly scrolling through do you I guys got the list up there too yeah yeah that might be it i mean there's, there's some movies and stuff this. that are sequels oh, modern okay the movie i want to watch but but wait it's okay yeah 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 i think um oh shy season two shy season Jay two. watching that nah oh yeah 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 i think that's yeah. about it yeah yeah i think that's about it i think we can just it's all a uh, consequence that we care about anyway yeah yeah i think we can just dive in here yeah, dive right in. It's time for the mailbag. It's mailbag time. If you've got a mailbag question, you can send it over to us at our website, antipropod.com slash mailbag, or on our Discord. This one comes from the website. Uh, from Josh the Manga Lad. Would you guys be open to reviewing more shows that are ongoing? I would love to hear your guys' extended thoughts on the new hit show, My Dear Friend Nokotan. Well, 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 do we have the episode for you? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty topical, eh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I yeah. think, I think uh, personally speaking, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. I think with reviews, we like to review things in completion. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, like, as shows are airing, it's tougher to review them uh, from my point of view because, like, I, I want to take my review includes the beginning, the middle, and the end of the, the entire arc of whatever that season is, is telling. So, these seasonal check-ins are kind of like, like our, our, our reviews for ongoing shows, mm -hmm. just on a very, like, condensed mm -hmm. base. Yeah. It's like a little snip, snippet of our review, basically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And speaking for myself, I, I have thought of this. And I think that the trick with this one is uh, there's not a lot of shows that all three of us watch in a season. Mm -hmm. Like, it's, I, there probably is not one show that all three of us are watching this season, I would bet. Um, and then the other thing that makes it tough is that, yeah, we have this seasonal check-in to cover it up. I have thought like when there is that one show that we're all watching for, and I, when it, the rare time it does happen, it would be kind of nice to like just do like maybe a basically a bonus review where we've all already watched the show and it, maybe it's not as long as a full episode review. But yeah, because like it's just like say we all watch Nokaton this season, like this Josh the manga lad here uh, insinuates. Mm -hmm. We've already watched it. We could easily talk about it, right? Yeah. yeah. More in yeah. depth. Yeah, that might and be a good idea. Don't really for capture like, that, right? So yeah, that might be a good idea season. for a bonus or uh, yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for for me, um, I I would I I would like to echo what both of you said. Uh, f but on top of that, like the the biggest challenge is finding a way to do that without overlapping with what we say about it during our check ins or during our our awards episodes, because mm -hmm. you know we're we're also talking about the show once it's done when we do the awards if like we like it or whatever um so i'm not necessarily against the idea it's more just like how do we make it its own thing rather than like uh just reiterating what we've already said during during check-in or something yeah i agree we have it's something you have to uh do one of our anti pro certified meetings about i think mm -hmm. to discuss if we want to do that as far as the second part of uh, Mr. Josh, the manga lad's question, uh, our extended thoughts on a new hit show, My Dear Friend, Nokotan. 
like Cole said, boy, do we have the episode for you. <laughs> yeah. Stay tuned after yeah. the break. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, stick around for the second half because it will come up, yeah. uh, guaranteed. Um, from what I hear, Mike's daughter is a very big fan of my dear Ask friend, Al Yeah, Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Number one fan, even. It is. We'll, we'll get there. It's the first yeah. anime my newborn daughter, she is <laughs> under a month old, has watched. So uh, certified yeah. meme lord. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about begun. that in the second half. Um, but yeah, no, I think that's all of the um, the continuing shows that we wanted to, it's to a touch light on, on. Continuing shows season, actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but there's lots of new shows, lots, lots of, new, of shows. new shows, and lots of good new so shows. The, so stay yeah, the tuned. Second half, the second half here will be a nice girthy one for you, ladies and gentlemen, out there to partake in, ingesting, dining upon, mm-hmm. audibly, or visually your if you're watching on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Make sure the sound's on. Though. <laughs> Could you imagine if someone like <laughs> watched watch this on YouTube, YouTube with on mute? Yeah, with closed yeah. captions. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Laughs maniacally. Oh. <laughs> Have you guys ever seen like our closed captions that YouTube auto generates? Oh, Not I great. Can only imagine. They're, I can they're only pretty imagine. good, but they're it's amazing that we have them at all. I'd say is it's pretty it's, cool. Yeah, you know, yeah. sometimes you just got to take a step back and think like, man, it's kind of cool that like. We've we've gotten to the point where closed captions can be auto generated. Yeah, it's great for accessibility. Anyway, it's only yeah. problem is like, do if if you're like you're a hearing disabled person, are you mm-hmm. trusting those auto generated captions? Yeah, you know? yeah. I'm actually yeah. curious, like, what it's like, uh, being uh, hearing impaired and 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 reading auto generated captions. Like, how you feel about that and things like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. exactly. That's an interesting thought. Um, but yeah, let's. Uh, I need to uh, go and and like stretch or something. Uh, <laughs> yeah, go take an ad. You're quite sore. Yeah. Uh, let's take an um, break. break. I don't know. I like the alien movies, even the bad ones. Got a soft spot for them. Alien uh, Resurrection is not a good movie, but it's. I think that most of the alien movies are not good movies. I think you just like the concept. I hear Romulus is actually good. I hear Romulus is pretty good. Alien 1, Alien 2, certified good movies. I kind of, you know, I totally forgot about like the. Remember the alien movie that where like they went back in time? Or is that a Predator movie? Go on. It was like Jurassic, Jurassic Predator. Oh no, that was a Predator. Alien. That was, was that was one of the Predator movies. I think that was the newest one. I heard that was a good movie. Yeah, actually. where like the main character is like a Native American. Maybe I'll watch that tonight actually, because I'm pretty lazy today. Maybe it might be a good night for a movie. That, yeah, it's good. It's me my brain here. Yeah, yeah, that's that's good. I'm gonna watch Alien. I'm gonna go see Alien mm-hmm. Romulus. Are we in the podcast right now? I mean, I we're, we're in yeah, the we've been in the podcast for a while, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Let me know. Let, let me know specifically. Say, hey, Cole, I want to go see Alien Romulus 2. And then you can go with um, them and they can shout at the screen. Well, we can yeah, shout yeah, at the yeah, screen yeah. together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can sit beside me, fall, fall asleep, asleep halfway through, yeah. yell at the screen, yeah. uh, read your light novel, eat yeah. the stinkiest snack you've ever, like, they shouldn't even okay. sell that. Real quick, what is the stinkiest snack you could eat in the... What's the worst snack you could eat in a movie theater? Mm, I remember... I, remember, Co- I remember Cody bought went in with a pulled pork sandwich. <laughs> that, was, that, was a, that was a wild that's, one. That's wild. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Who goes to the uh, theater well, and you know, says, I, Yeah, I'll I have think, a pulled pork sandwich, please. If you know well, Cody the theater, to be to be fair, it's on the theater because they sell it in the theater. Yeah, yeah. But that's like, why? Yeah, that's a strange one. Because because some people they see something weird and they're like, I'm getting that. And well, they probably uh, see. Oh, pulled pork! I like pulled pork. I do like pulled and pork, but eating it in the dark. Yeah, eating it in the dark on that's your not, lap. That's weird. Yeah. So that what might, about you guys? That might take the cake. That might take what, the cake. I don't what's, know. What's what's a bad movie movie snack? 
or a stinky one. Bad movie snack. Uh, you know what? I've never, I've always had a, a pet peeve of people who bring canned drinks into movie theaters. Yeah, that's weird. And you're like, wa you're like watching the movie and you hear, and then I'm just like, oh, come on, man. And I, I also, and this is, this is a hot take, but you're going to, Cole specifically, you're not going to like this take. Okay. I don't like that they sell bags of candy at the movie theaters because they're just, they're so loud. Yeah. I don't want to hear you rustling around in your bag of Skittles while I'm watching a movie. But you get more in the bag, though. So. Yeah. I do uh, like the idea of or like... Popcorn nothing. Popcorn or nothing. No, I like a Milk Dud or a Reese's Pieces. Actually, Reese's Pieces is my go-to so, when I go to a, Reese's Pieces a movie. Is good. So yeah. people will like take like buy a, a bag of candy like M&M's or Reese's Pieces and put them in their popcorn bag. Yeah, I'm here for that. I'm here for that. Yeah. I've never done it. No. I've never, never done, done it. it. I'm always it, curious. I would it's, never it's, do it's, it. It's a myth, but like I've heard of it and it sounds yeah. crazy. I've never seen it either, actually. I mean, a like You're a right. Chicago mix popcorn is good, right? Like Ooh, sweet, good. Yeah. sweet and yeah, salty. Yeah. It mm -hmm. works. It's just like I like Reese's Pieces mm -hmm. and I like popcorn. I don't know if they work together though. It's like I don't know if I, I want them together. It's like the the. But I don't want them together. Yeah. You're right. It's like mm -hmm. it's like the myth of uh, Wendy's fries and a frosty. People do that though. That's really good. No, no, no. That's not a myth. That one I've I, done. It's delicious. People, I've, I've seen heard anyone people do, do that. I've never. Seen, I've heard people I've do heard that. Heard people do it. I've never seen someone actually. Do I've it. never seen. I've never Ramen seen Brothers. somebody do it. I've never seen somebody do it or heard of like a specific person doing mm -hmm. it, but I've heard that there are psychopaths out there who dip well, their like fries. That's, that's the We're going to Wendy's. Their fries. <laughs> that's the exact same as, as uh, uh, Reese's Pieces on popcorn. I've never seen anyone do it. I've never mm -hmm. heard of a specific instance where someone has done it, but I've heard that people do do it. You know it's what like the a, problem with that one is, Jay? In order to have a Reese's Pieces on popcorn in a movie theater, it's like probably forty-five dollars. <laughs> I mean, yeah, including the both. ticket, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's an expensive night. Yeah, yeah I'm not that rich. Yeah. Some, um, you can also buy booze now at some of the theaters in our city. That I like. Yeah, that I like. Yeah. but it's super. You won't expensive. have to hide your feelings in Russian about movie theater snacks, though, will you? I don't. <laughs> wow, I, I can't what a speak segue. Russian. <laughs> what are you talking about? You Russian? know who can? Alia. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, okay, Mike's trying Let's to get, get us moving along, he's trying to get us out of the movie theater. Got 20 What's your go to, to talk about. What's your go-to movie theater, uh, Reese's Pieces? Ma yeah, comment. Mike. Oh, Mike. Uh, no, 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 hold on, hold on, I can actually make a plug that, that does apply to Antipro. We did a bonus episode where we talked about movie theaters and movie stuff, if you want to go check that out, uh... Uh, become a patron and you can listen to us talk more about movie theaters. If you want to check that out, give Jay Garrity and your money. <laughs> see? <laughs> see, it, it, see, Mike? There was a method to this madness. There was madness. a method oh, to okay. this madness. <laughs> I just had to let it play out. I see how you guys are. I see how you <laughs> sneaky bastards <laughs> are. Reese's Pieces, Mike. What about Quick. Reese's Pieces? Quick. I forget Quick. the question. I forget uh, the question. Movie, go to movie theater po uh, snack. Popcorn. Popcorn. Okay. Yeah. Jay? Depends on it. It depends on no quick. On the time. Quick. Well, quick. like I, I like popcorn quick, sometimes, but on other times I'll get like Reese's pieces or you're going or nibs. right now, right now, okay, right now. There you go. Nibs, nibs, licorice. This exact moment, I'll get popcorn. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm getting Reese's pieces. Uh, anyway, we're gonna talk about sh new shows. <laughs> this season. Yes, anime, anime, new anime, anime this season. Anime, yes. anime. Uh, okay. So again. We're just going to run through the list of shows, but we 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 did uh, condense it down a little bit. Uh, we curated it a little list. bit. A little. Curated the list. Mm -hmm. So uh, next, the next show or the the top show that is a new show mm -hmm. was my number four pick, which, as Mike uh, began to discuss, was Alia hides her feelings in Russian. Um, is anybody else watching this other than me? I am. Jalian, I knew I could count on you. I knew I could count on you. <laughs> Um, it's, it's good. I'm yeah. enjoying it. Um, I like, you know what? You know what, Jay? Yeah. You and I can argue about this. Yeah. You're an Alia guy. Yeah. I like the little sister. She's fun. How dare she's, you? She's way more entertaining. Oh, as, dare as, you. as the Switzerland in this situation, the little sister's better. I've seen so much more of the little sister. I've barely seen Alia. Yeah. Like just but, in the memes and stuff. Yeah. I, I mean, it's just a classic, like, yeah the high school yeah. rom-com mm -hmm. yeah there's nothing like super uh like unique about it yeah they speak russian i like the behind the scenes stuff of the the lead actress who plays alia being like 
a Russian aficionado. <laughs> she was like mm-hmm. obsessed with the Soviet Union. She learned Russian. She went to school in Russia. And I think that that's really cool that like there's mm-hmm. this show that exists mm-hmm. that is catered specifically to her. She is the yeah. perfect I don't know, say you I don't for know this role. I don't know if you noticed this, Cole, during, uh, while watching the show. But like I can kind of hear like a Russian accent while Ali is speaking. I don't know. Like I... I don't know the the Japanese language enough to pick up on like mm-hmm. a specific Russian accent. Mm-hmm. Maybe I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, Japanese speakers out there, let us let us know if you you pick up on a mm-hmm. Russian accent I, in the Japanese. I always appreciate like when they find the perfect casting. It's mm-hmm. just always cool, and it sounds like they found the perfect casting mm-hmm. for all. Yeah, mm-hmm. so. And I mean, uh, Doga Kobo is doing this one, and following the trend of of Oshinoko, like the production on the show is like actually pretty good. Mm-hmm. yeah uh, yeah it's quite they're, high they're moving up in the ranks for sure mm-hmm. yeah uh great op uh yeah they're doing the classic different ed for every episode which just seems like the new in thing to do mm-hmm. uh Chainsaw which Man is a lot of fun well. yep. yeah it's a lot of fun fun show yep i if if you like a slice of life rom-com yeah this is and, and, this is as good as 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 it gets and you know what I'd there say. are a couple good uh slice of life rom-com shows this season to check out so uh if if you're into that it's a good season for you yeah if you're into that watch (laughs) other shows too as well (laughs) and this show maybe we'll talk about them yeah Yeah. maybe Mm -hmm. i i i'm curious about this show because like there's so many people it's definitely like one of the most popular shows of the season Mm -hmm. and it just Mm -hmm. it seems like a fun show it's just also just not the genre i go for yeah it's not i I don't think it's it's your thing mike but like yeah yeah it's i i would say it's worth checking out from like a production standpoint yeah um even just to check out a couple episodes yeah it's cute i i i it's i see lots of stills from it and like little clips and it's it catches my eye every time because it seems funny and i like the bit that he he understands russian that's a that's a funny bit Mm -hmm. Uh, that's a funny twist on the the formula Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah uh next up is the well how how can I introduce this show? It's the show everyone's watching. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, it is my yeah. dear friend Nokotan. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jay, Jay, this was no. your number one pick. This was my number one pick. Yes. Uh, and it's also Mike's daughter's number one pick. <laughs> yes. I just know. I just know. Uh yeah. yeah, no, this show is a lot of fun. Um and very stupid. But not boring mm-hmm. or dumb. No, it's it's pretty dumb, but yeah, like, not stupid, but, but like also in a stupid. good way. Yeah, um, it. I think the best way to describe it is this show is shit post the anime. Yeah, yeah, kind of. Mm-hmm. Yeah, or a, I think the the new term would be like brain rot. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, it's it's like just straight up like it doesn't even care that like half the stuff doesn't make sense mm-hmm. or it's just like it, it just cares about being funny and stupid yeah and it's good yeah. it's kind I of will... like our, honestly our last review there of uh panty and stalking where it's just like mm-hmm. let's just do I what know. we want yeah. yeah yeah i would compare it more to panty and stalking than something like i know people compared it to um uh pop team epic mm-hmm. but i mm-hmm. feel like this at l- like this has a bit of a uh narrative there is a to thread. it a little bit there, there is a, is a thread, thread. Like there's yeah. logic to stuff. Like it's not it, it's not skits mm-hmm. is what I would say. Yeah, uh, it's episodic it, for sure. Like there mm-hmm. there isn't an overarching theme. I wouldn't say, but like each episode self contained. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, tells a story. Yeah, uh, I I have is this one we're all watching. Yeah, it yeah, is. all three of us all are watching this us. one. Interesting. Three of us. Wow. Yeah. Oh, interesting, Josh mm-hmm. the Mongo lad. That all three of us would be watching. This is the first show we all three watch. Uh, I, I have seen a couple people say that like they're kind of done with this show just c- and uh, just because like they kind of got the joke and and they're moving on. I could see that. Yeah. Oh, there he is. There, there he, he is. is. Hi. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't think I mean, I've said that to either of you though. To be yeah. fair, I will say like I haven't watched an episode since the one where the main girl sings her little song mm. and punches the deer, which I think was the best bit of the whole show. Mm -hmm. uh which was i think like three weeks ago now i -hmm. haven't consciously dropped it but maybe now that you say that it's like uh i've sub like you realize like i I don't know 
I don't. I, it's like I don't know what my brain is thinking, mm-hmm. but my brain knows that it's like it's time. Okay, I think We've, the problem with this show is yeah, like you've got the joke, you know what it is already, mm-hmm. and there's just and there's still because it's kind of episodic, and there's just it, there's new jokes every episode, but I feel like there's just not enough there to make you like be craving the next episode. Mm-hmm. And that's that's I think what happens with these kind of gags like is that you just don't have the. Mm-hmm. I think there are oh, new I can't wait jokes for next week. in in each episode, but like they all kind of revolve around the same idea. Yeah, yeah. If that makes sense. Like it's not like a, a, a completely new concept that they come up with. Yeah, it's like like I don't care that all she eats is deer crackers anymore. Yeah. That's no longer like, funny. Like it's kind of yeah. like she's a deer girl. Get it? Is kind yeah. of is kind of the joke. Yeah. Uh. The other one that people compare it to is um, Nietzsche Joe. Nietzsche Joe. Mm-hmm. And I find Nietzsche Joe works because you've got like four distinct characters, mm-hmm. leads, mm-hmm. who like each have unique personalities. So like you get more, more bang for your buck in a show like that. Mm-hmm. Where this, it's similar humor, maybe, maybe more brain rot, yeah. like Mike said. Yeah. Uh, but you've only got two leads, really. And like the joke is like, one is the straight man to the other person's mm-hmm. absurdist. Yeah. And it, uh, yeah, I wouldn't say like, to me, it hasn't overplayed its welcome. It's just maybe mm-hmm. the bandwidth is kind of like to set that aside. Yeah. And yeah. Kinda... I think it's just, I just, again, I just don't feel, I'm not going to drop it just because I, it takes quite a bit for me to actually drop a show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just, I'll just be like, I'll just power through. I'll just watch an episode here or there. Or I'll just binge it when the season's done or something. Mm-hmm. So I'll, I'll finish this one, but I just kind of am like every episode I'm watching it, I'm like, I get a few chuckles, a few smiles, but I'm not like, I don't think I've ever been wowed outside of the first scene there where she like walks into the classroom mm-hmm. and like the Dark Souls music starts playing and stuff. Mm-hmm. And the, the characters just kind of aren't super compelling. Mm-hmm. It, it's, it's just like overall just a good and funny show, yeah, but not great and hilarious show. Is what I'd yeah. say. Yeah. 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 Like it's yeah. good. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. And it's funny. Yeah. But, but it's not it great. Hilarious? And it's not yeah. hilarious. Yeah. yeah. I just. Yeah. Good draft. That was pick my idea. I'd say. I think I, in this season, I think this is a good draft pick. Yeah. But. Yeah. And I yeah. mean, it lived up, yeah. I'd say it lived up the I, th- I think it's still worth like checking out. It's just like, I don't know if it, like, I, I'd say give it three episodes. And if you're still in after three episodes, then like, you'll know i would even say one i feel like it, every episode has been basically the same well the reason i say three is because like after one you'll probably be like like laughing and still like oh, i see I, okay i, I, I yeah. want to check out the next one but after three like if you're like yeah i kind of get the joke mm-hmm. yeah then Valid. yeah yeah uh next up is uh jay you picked this again at number five this was your last pick of mm-hmm. the draft this was a good one uh with story a wand and sword mm-hmm. uh yeah this show is uh it's by uh the don machi author like the the story is by the don machi author and like you can very clearly tell that it is because mm. like it's basically don machi meets meets like black clover and like it's good in terms of like animation and but is it hilarious that, it's not hilarious <laughs> It's not hilarious, but like, I think this show's best selling point is its animation and and action Sakuga. Mm, Yeah. Um, If you're looking for like a compelling story or anything like that, that's not here. But if you just want to shut your brain off and enjoy some fun action, this will do it for you. I've I've been thinking about picking this one up Mm -hmm. just because it it looks, if I want to shut my brain off and watch something. Mm Mm-hmm. I want it to look good. And this kind of seems like it checks the boxes for that, for sure. Yeah. Um, it looks really nice. Mm-hmm. I like, I, I mean, th- this show alone, like I'm not, I'm not going to watch it every week because I'm like, Oh, I'm checked in for the, for the story. But like, if, if I just like want all oh, fun, dumb action show, um, because mm-hmm. there aren't a lot of those this season. They're, they really are. They're kind of not, it's it, a lot of the times it seems like we go for quanti- quantity over quality. Mm-hmm. It seems like this one, they maybe are just making the best of what's like a a middle of the road type source material, mm-hmm. and they're just making the best out of it. It's one yeah. of those shows where like you see 
clips of cert of like fights on TikTok and like AMVs and stuff mm-hmm. like that. And you're like, oh, that looks really good. Yeah. And then you watch it and you're like, yeah, that was good. Yeah. No. So that's the vibe I get. Yeah. Uh so come for the come for the fights, stay for the animation. Yeah. Basically. And it's it's basically Mashal but with sword, right? Pretty much. Um and like animated well. Yeah, like he goes to uh like he's in an uh a magic academy because he wants to uh like he wants to rise up and and be with his childhood friend, but he doesn't have any magic. Basically, like the plot. It's like kaiju number eight. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Or yeah, insert X anime where the main yeah. character has no powers and then becomes yeah. powerful. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you continue it though. I'm assuming. Oh yeah, I think I think it's fun, but it it's probably not going to be anyone's best anime of the season or anything. Yeah. Uh, Mike, your number one pick was next Mm -hmm. on the list here. It is Suicide Squad Isekai. Uh, you're watching it, I'm assuming. Yeah, I, uh, I have almost completed it. I think it's, it is completed now. I haven't watched Mm. the last two episodes yet. It is, uh, it's a very popular show just basing on the uh, Annie list things here, but it's not a particularly great show. Mm -hmm. It's, it's, uh, the, it's weird because the first like episode kind of started off with like semi rough animation, and then since then it's been pretty good. I would say mm-hmm. like some the, some of the sequences of like the fights and stuff like like Harley Quinn and all that are just like, oh, this is like Wit doing what Wit does. Mm-hmm. But then it just kind of seems like they'll just like tap her off. You can just clearly yeah they'll just slack off in other parts where they just like clearly don't try. Mm-hmm. And they just, like it's like they have like they choose to either go all in. Or just do the bare minimum. And it's kind of... The stories... It's a Suicide Squad story. Uh, I I feel... I'm not a big uh, DC guy, but I just feel like since I've seen the movie, I kind of already knew what was going to happen here. Mm-hmm. And it it it's interesting. It uh, The characters seem to be what you'd expect them to be. Harley Quinn is great in this, by the way. She is uh, a ray of... I want to say a ray of sunshine, but that's just not the way i'd put it i don't know i don't know what she is she's a chaotic uh fairy goddess running through the woods with a <laughs> stick of dynamite i don't know okay, okay. Right. i mean yeah. i kind of get it i kind of yeah. get what you're saying that makes sense in a weird way for a harley quinn character yeah yeah uh, what i'm saying is they nailed the harley quinn and mm-hmm. they knew that was going to sell this which it did it and the, the kind of weird thing is there's uh I saw some people saying like the in this the Joker like actually seems to care about Harley Quinn, which apparently is a departure from the source material. I personally don't know. Yeah, but she, this, he they usually seem like does a it. fairly mm-hmm. loving couple. Mm, interesting. Yeah, I I remember mm. it's when the show first came out, like everyone was excited for it, and the the big reaction online was like, "This is not living up to the hype that that yeah. was surrounding it." I think yeah. if it wasn't, if you just like took out the Suicide Squad part of it and just made these like, if it was just like Suicide Squad didn't exist and then they made this exact anime, mm-hmm. I think it would be, re- be received a little better. I think it's one of those cases where like the characters aren't exactly what people wanted I f- I feel be- like when they knew the source material really well. I feel but, like um, it, it, it'd be the opposite. Like it'd still get the same reception, but like it'd it'd have like no notoriety because it's not suicide squad i I think that uh first impressions are important and if the first episode comes out and it's animated not great and uh it's funny looking stuff yeah like you've got to nail that first episode Mm -hmm. yeah for for a like highly anticipated anime it's still popular like Mm -hmm. it's still sitting at the Mm -hmm. sixth most popular on any list but yeah 63 percent not that's not what great. i was meaning I, it's, yeah. I think it jay's right it wouldn't be as popular but i think the rating would be higher is the thing yeah yeah i yeah. suspect yeah. this one will rate the, the rating will go up as like the season ends i i suspect i think a lot of people probably kind of fell off after the first episode yeah and yeah. then people always rate stuff after they watched one episode and i'm not i've a... started doing that as well mm. and I, I feel like i used to bash my bash people who do this but it's just like i'm like feel like i'm combating the people who just like rated a one and then move on after dropping it after episode one yeah a lot of people okay. well a lot of people like will put it in their planning and either rate it a 10 or a one then kind of adjust as the show goes on yeah okay yeah 
Start at a five if you're going to do that. Start at a yeah, five. Let's go, start with a five. Something reasonable. Start with a five and then go up or down. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Um, I'm continuing watching the last two episodes. And I, I didn't regret it. drafting this. It definitely... My my draft, I don't think, was very good this time, this season. My, my Honestly, though, Mike, we'll get there. Like, it might have been the right strat to throw because next season is fall and there's some pretty good yeah. shows there. I'm not too upset yeah. is what I'd say. Yeah, but yeah that's I what losers always great. say. That's what losers <laughs> always say. Um, Justify their... Well, cool. Uh, enjoy you know not what? drafting Don to Don because yeah, well, I will. Be gone. I'll enjoy winning again. You know what, Jay? Why don't you enjoy a nice day with your stepsister? <laughs> Yeah, Jay, how do you justify this? Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, (laughs) hold on. I know the title is Days with Your Stepsister, and I know that, Mm -hmm. like, the... No, no, Days with Your Stepsister, Days with My Stepsister. I said my. Anyway, go ahead, continue. (laughs) Um, And I know, like, the the plot synopsis makes it sound really weird and uncomfortable, but, like, it's Mm -hmm. honestly a very straight drama about, like, two people who are pretty much strangers that have now come into this like awkward situation. I, I got the vibes when you drafted or talked about this one in our draft that like it's for preview. It's basically like domestic girlfriend, but like if you just removed all of the horniness from it for the most part, Not really like, oh, okay. Domestic girlfriend is very over the top and like kind of plays itself as like, like you know uh this is weird Mm -hmm. and and Mm -hmm. understands that whereas like this kind of plays itself as like we don't really know each other but now we're in a situation where we're brother and sister how do we handle that okay 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 yeah it's probably it's probably an issue with anime that we see like the title is just days with my stepsister. Yeah. It could literally just be about people learning to be siblings. Ah, uh, there's a romance tag. tag but down. there's a romance tag oh. and it's anime and anime so does this all the like, time. The thing is, <laughs> yeah. is that like they play the like, we don't really know each other part very, mm-hmm. like very strongly. Mm-hmm. So like, yeah, they like, they are step siblings, but like, because they didn't know each other, like, Feelings do happen, and they don't know how to deal with it because they are step siblings. See, I okay. I like you know. There's a good story here. I like the idea of a show. I like the idea of like an odd couple type type thing. You know, mm-hmm. it always works. It's yep. the romance tag. It's the romance tag that. Uh, and this, I'm learning a new tag here. Inseki is the other tag that's on yeah. here. Features sexual or romantic relations among step, adopted, or other non blood related family members. But yes, I, I have seen actually quite a bit of this show, like in terms of the mm-hmm. clips and stuff I see, and it does look quite mm-hmm. wholesome. It looks yeah. like it looks like the Jay likes these type of shows, and they're kind of like just two cinnamon rolls, kind of just like kind of. They're not over the top. It's very grounded. And they're just kind of like calmly going about navigating life together. Yeah. Like Angel Next Door spoils me rotten type stuff. Even like that one, like in terms of of romance, isn't really that substantial. This has a bit more, a bit more depth to it. Um, And also like it's well directed and and has some Mm -hmm. interesting ideas in in, uh, its, its storyboarding and cinematography. But like, uh, I don't know. Like, I think that it, it's just, I think that this, this is the show and for, for obvious reasons, that's getting just passed up for, uh, that's getting passed up and it should have more eyes on it a little bit because mm, it's okay. actually good. <laughs> Continue. Yes. Uh, no longer allowed in another world, Jay. This was your number three pick. This was my number three pick. Um, I guess I'll start with a trigger warning because obvious reasons, uh, that I'll get into, but like this show is genuinely really funny. I know we talked about Nokotan, how it's funny, but not hilarious. Mm-hmm. I find myself laughing in every episode for this one. Mm. Um, and like, I know that for some people the the idea of of making fun of a of a serious issue is not for them and he's talking about me 
I'm talking about people in general, Cole. You're not the only person in the universe. You're you're definitely no, I, in that category, but you're also the one who voiced your displeasure with the uh, yes. I mean, the, the yes. nature of how, any anime that's involving Osamu Dazai because he tries to. Uh, I was trying. To, I was trying to dance around the, that subject. Whole but, thing. Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I'm not going. I'm I'm never going to convince anyone who who feels that way to watch it. But like, mm. uh, the show genuinely is really funny. And, mm -hmm. uh, and is, I, I want to say like, it's a different take on isekai, but like, it's still samey isekai. It's yeah. still isekai. Yeah. It's, see, I've seen enough people like react like this is like kind of a fresh, fresh idea mm -hmm. at least. Yeah. And it seems to have nailed the classic isekai formula of like kind of a quirky protagonist with like mm -hmm. a harem of like these awesome waifus basically. Uh, Cole, there's a really lovely cat girl in this one as well. There is. Well, I'm in now. Yeah. No, I mean, if if I just take it for what it is, like, okay, it's a it's a comedy isekai. Um, if I take that for what it is, like, mm -hmm. there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, yeah. It's just, yeah. Like, I've I've made my opinion known. Yeah. Uh, a and few, I mean, a few episodes. It's just, ago. There are, something that just puts a sour yeah, taste. Yeah. And in there, your mouth there are yeah. there are a lot of people on the internet that have had the same thought as you. So like, you're not alone mm -hmm. in that thought. Yeah. Um. It's just that, like, it is a very funny show, and, like, if yeah. if you're not of that opinion, I think it's worth checking out, and I would, I will yeah. continue it. Yeah, I would say, nice. yeah, if that's not a hurdle for you to get over, I, I think it would be worth watching. And it must not be for a lot of people, because it is the uh, eighth most popular show of the season, so. Yeah. I mean, it's eight. It's not bad. It's no, pretty that's, good. that's pretty popular, honestly. Yeah. yeah, It's ahead of what I think should be, like one of the highest rated shows this season well it uh, is one of the highest rated shows and 80 percent. it is yeah uh, it, it's it's very good <laughs> <laughs> it is very good uh, too many losing heroines is yeah. uh the sleeper of this season none of us drafted it mm -hmm. and i think well jay and i would have definitely fought for it if i think if like knew. it was both of our like fifth picks it's good it is very it's good well directed uh the the girls in it are just great characters. Mm -hmm. uh, the comedy is like on point. Yeah, it's like I I find myself laughing at this one at at uh, the lead the blue haired girl's just Anna. like face. Yeah, half the time when she like when she forgets her wallet the second time and she just like <laughs> looks at him and just like brushes her hair back. <laughs> oh, it's it's so funny. Mm -hmm. Um, the production yeah, on this, this show, out. like in in terms of like animation and. And all and like shot composition, all that like surprisingly top notch. I was saying during the Alia thing that like there are a couple of like really good rom coms this season. This I'd say like is num like the other one. This, this is peaks by interest a hell of a lot more than Alia. I'll say this is better and than Alia. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah. This it is better than Alia. It a lot Alia. better. It has a yeah. more interesting concept. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Props uh, to what's the studio for this A1. one? A one. Yeah. There yeah. you go. Yeah, yep. and A1 usually, like, I've, again, like, to, to bitch and moan about stuff, uh, A1, I find a lot of times they're just vanilla, like they're vanilla ice cream, mm -hmm. but hey, sometimes vanilla ice cream, you know it hits. You know what, sometimes they hit. A1 puts out bangers, like, they did, yeah, they did they Erased, and Erased is like, A1 stuff, yeah. Erased is like one of uh, the best looking shows of 2016. Yeah. Right? I, I honestly, like... Out of all of the shows this season, if somebody's like, I can only watch one show, a mm. lot of people would say like Nokotan. Mm. This one, I would say. Yeah. Not to not to play my hand for the awards. <laughs> Looking at uh, the top eight here, it's pro I would say it's probably up there. Just as someone who's not seen any of it, it just it clearly looks like one of the anime of the season. It is it is like, certainly it just looks an really anime nice. of all time. Yeah. <laughs> it certainly is an anime mike i would like say watch this if yeah, you're on yeah. the fence about it like just watch the first episode if the comedy doesn't hit after episode one for you then you're probably like, like yeah you really only need one episode for this one okay mm -hmm. good to know yeah. yeah yeah uh yeah i think jay and i we we gush over this one yeah it's a good show check it out uh, definitely continuing definitely yeah. continuing yeah jay i, yeah. I think like yeah. this is one of the few shows where i'm like i like a lot of the time I'll be like, yeah, I'm continuing it. But like, this is one of the shows where it's like, I'm going to, I'm probably going to finish it. This is, this is one, like I get excited for mm -hmm. watching every nice. week. I've heard Mike, lots of good things. So yeah. Yeah. 
Mike, your number two show, Elusive mm-hmm. Samurai. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen this come up a lot, but what, what do you think of it? I am really enjoying it. I've watched a couple episodes of it. I haven't made it super far into it, but mm-hmm. it. Uh, I, when I drafted it, I had a, a hunch just based on it's Shonen Jump and it's by Cloverworks. Those two things. It's like there's just there's too many good names. There's too yeah. many high profile names attached to this that I'm just like, it must be at least decent. And it is. It's a uh, it's very Shonen for sure. Mm-hmm. But it looks bloody incredible that it's it, it is a treat to watch. And it's uh, if you if you haven't checked it out yet, if you watch the first episode, it starts off very sweet and wholesome. But just know that this gets dark fairly quick. And then it kind of continues from there. And it's not, I wouldn't say it's like dark and depressing or anything like that, but definitely like you can barely see it is a war story is what I would say. And that okay. it is, uh, mm-hmm. it is a war story and it is a revenge plot and it is, it doesn't pull its punches in a good way. And I think that when you, when you put all that together, you get put shown and jump with all this, like a decent story. It's actually like a historical story too, which is kind of interesting. And it's, mm. Another interesting part of it is it seems like it's altering history. Like it's it's a historical story. Like it has the historical characters and stuff, but it's not afraid to do things that it wouldn't have done that didn't happen not necessarily. Mm. And it looks fantastic. The characters look great. The animation's so fluid. Um, yeah, no, definitely going to continue watching this one. Have you guys nice. heard anything about uh, the Elusive Samurai? So um, no. I, I heard that like the animation for the first couple of episodes are fantastic. Um, mm-hmm. and like the, the art switch ups and everything like looks really good. Uh, but mm-hmm. I have heard that like later episodes kind of dip in quality and it just looks like they kind of ran out of budget. Okay. Um, if that's the case, I haven't got there yet. Then. Yeah. Um, which like is a little bit upsetting because like the first couple episodes do look really good, mm-hmm. but I mean, Hey, it, it, them's the breaks, I guess. Yeah. The the only criticism I would have for this probably is that it it does too much of the I don't know if there's a name for this or probably is but like when it goes from being like just the normal show and then it'll go like super over the top silly tone switch I guess I guess I don't know but like humor yeah this this the the older dude who like kind of adopts the main character here Mm -hmm. he just he's so over the top silly that it's just kind of like it, it almost i'm just too old. i'm an old grumpy man and it's just yeah it's too much for me a little bit mm-hmm. but other than that i'm really enjoying it it seems like it's going places that are interesting that i i'll keep watching for sure yeah um i know for me like one half of your uh, the equation there the the clover works and the shonen jump really works for me i love clover works mm-hmm it's probably not for me. Like, I'm just not a shonen guy. Mm-hmm. So, like, often I'll see, like, from Shonen Jump, I'm like, eh. Yeah. No. Uh, no. But, like, I'm unique, I guess, in that sense. But maybe not. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I think, I think part of it is that you're, you're just, like, you're, you're in the critique landscape. Yeah. You, you yeah. like films that are a little more mature. And, I'm yeah, just yeah. not a shonen guy. Yeah. It is what it is. It is what it is. Um... Jay, your number four pick, yes. Pseudo Harem. Pseudo Harem. Uh, so this show, I well, after I watched like the first couple episodes, I was like, I'm kind of worried that okay. it's gonna like it, it's gonna get to the point where I go, yeah, I get it. She like she's a girl and she has like she acts in with multiple different personalities to to appease the guy she likes, and that's the show. And I'm gonna and and I'm gonna be like, yeah, I get it, but what what else do you have? And they just kind of don't. And that's kind of been where the show's gone. Like, yeah, I get it. <laughs> um, yeah. I can mm-hmm. I can understand the appeal. Um, Sayori Hayami does a good job for me with like portraying those different attitudes. Hmm not enough to carry an entire show okay right um like when you have other rom-coms like too many losing heroines and and ollie out there that just kind of like are fantastic uh yeah. in terms of like its production you look at this and it's just kind of fine fine 
bit underwhelming. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I've seen like clips and claps of this one, screenshots mm-hmm. and like the main, the main girl looks super cute mm-hmm. and stuff, but like other than that, nothing about it yeah. really screams, uh, mm-hmm. I need to watch this, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And th- that's, that's it, kind of, uh, the sentiment, uh, that I feel. Um, yeah. Yeah. Just, I might check out the manga. That's kind of how I, I feel too. Like it, yeah. it seems like a good manga, but in anime form, it, some things just don't translate. Yeah. Right? yeah, 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 yeah. It's just sometimes stuff like this. It's just manga works better. Yeah. Uh, but Jay, you're you're up again. You're mm-hmm. you're next again with uh uh show 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 sh- How to become ordinary? Now, uh, Cole, this is where we step aside and let Jay <laughs> rant and rave. Let me let me let me gush uh, about this show. This was yeah. Jay's number two pick. This was Go my ahead, number Jay. two pick. You're free. I love this show so much. Um, <laughs> from like, from its production to its direction to uh, its its dialogue and script, uh, to like how like to the different mysteries and how they're solved and just everything about this show. This show was made for me and me specifically. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. the fact that this show's in widescreen, so it has like a lot more. <laughs> Of of like a depth of feel to show to the the viewer is such an interesting and cool mm-hmm. idea. It says uh, a lot about society. Yeah, yeah, it's really a take on society. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, you're you're. I I've only watched the first episode mm-hmm. and it is good. Mm-hmm. Like it's very it's a very good anime. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. It just didn't hook me like it did for you. I. I I understand that. I think like uh yeah. the the criticism I see online is like a lot of the mysteries are rather mundane. Yeah, that's what I've heard is that it's it's a lot of like really well produced stuff. Mm-hmm. And then at the end of the day you kind of just don't care cuz the mystery is not very interesting. But I mean like it was the same with uh Hyoka? what was the other show that from the same guy? Yoka. Yeah. yeah. Like the mysteries were pretty mundane with mm-hmm. that one. Like this one is definitely like it ta- it it's a step up mm-hmm. in terms of production mm-hmm. and I I I feel like and it's not a step y- down necessarily story-wise it, either. It's really funny you say that too Cole because like y- you're saying it's a step up to Kyoani. Mhm. Which is well, I mean directorially yeah, like yeah, it, no, it, it's it, just it. It, it does like cooler stuff. Mm-hmm. Kyoani of course animation-wise is always mm-hmm. uh, incredible. Uh, but this one, yeah, like you mentioned, the widescreen, I kind of give you a hard time about that, but it is, it's, it's unique. Yeah. What, what can you say? Yeah. Um, yeah. it's, it's doing stuff that you don't usually see mm-hmm. on like TV anime. Yeah. And like, uh, my response to the people who say like, oh, it's, it's boring. I disagree. I understand where you're coming from, but at the same time, mm-hmm. like it, the show is kind of about finding joy in the mundane. Mm. and like it it, like they spend an entire episode like yeah they spend an entire episode figuring out how this guy made uh made hot chocolate with um, like for three glasses with only uh what was it yeah with three three glasses with only one spoon and or whatever but like it riveting mystery it's a riveting (laughs) like yeah no it's boring (laughs) but like the way it's it's presented and yes. uh progressed is a lot of fun i love the idea of like how uh they put the main character it, like literally in the shoes of uh of the the target i guess the guy that, that yeah. was doing it to like mm-hmm. act out the, the uh the deduction um, right yeah it's cool um and maybe like after the series done or something like that maybe i'll binge it but yeah it's it's not a weekly one for me. Are you, you're obviously continuing this one. Yeah. Um, and like finding out more about these characters is also like as the as the show goes on, you go more into who these characters are and like how they got to where they are now, and like that it that as well is, um, mm-hmm. a compelling thing. So, uh, look, I get it, but check it out because it's really good. <laughs> Listen, I get it, but. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm looking at our list here. Uh, next one is, um, 2.5 dimensional seduction. That was from me. That is my number three pick. Mm-hmm. Uh, someone wrote it in here as 2.5 D's nuts, which, uh, is appropriate nice. for this show. Yeah. Um, this show is fine, yeah. but I'm enjoying it. I'm having fun with this show. Yeah. Uh, it's... 
This kind of feels like character- Cole's I am unabashedly raunchy show of the season. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is, the, I, this is the gushing over magical girls of this season. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes sometimes I just go mask off. I mean, this one is I've said it to I've said it to you guys. Like gushing over magical girls was actually more censored in the manga, where this one is like more censored than the manga. Mm-hmm. Uh mm-hmm. which I mean, say what you will about that. That is a thing that people care about. Um it's fun. It's fun. I like I like the relationship between the two uh, leads because they're both just dumb. Mm-hmm. They're both idiots when it comes to like romance. Mm-hmm. And it's, I like it's the cosplay stuff. a little bit almost. Hey, yeah, more, more so than like dress up darling would be. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dress up darling is like more of like a straight ahead. Will they? Won't they? Mm-hmm. Uh, it feels more believable. Where this one, it's like more of a harem. Yeah, more of a harem. Um, yeah, it's it's good. And, I like and it. I, the The biggest comment I've heard about this show is it's a worse dress up, darling. Yes. Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Like dress up, darling is genuinely a good show. This one is, this one's a fun show. Uh, if if you're looking for something like gushing over magical girls or something like that, uh, the the lead character is so over the top. Mm-hmm. Guy loves screaming, Mike. I know you're a big oh, fan great. of that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'll continue it though. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, it's uh, it's harmless. It's, yeah, it's say. at least titillating for you, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's a funny way to put that. Sure, it tickles your jimmies a little bit. <laughs> tickles my jimmies. Um, yeah. next up on the list, we've got strongest magician in the in Demon Lord's army. Something. Okay. Something. Uh, I'm not watching this. Jay, no, what is the I watched. Hell is the name okay, of this so one? I watched two episodes yeah. of this because like it can, it was literally the first show to come out this season. And the I was, strongest magician in the Demon Lord's army was a human. Yeah. Okay. So I was curious, okay. and lo and behold, it's literally what you get on the tin. It's the title. <laughs> so you're saying that the strongest magician in the Demon Lord's army was, in fact, a human? New concept. That's I know. just in. This I feel just like in. That's not even like that's not even that wild of a sentence. <laughs> no. No, it's not. Eh. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it's like okay yeah he's a human yeah. in the demon lord's and, army like i i feel like you and? read that and you go like yeah. and <laughs> yeah but i don't want i don't want more because it's yeah. already long enough yeah but, like what like like you read that and you're like but like why though that's not an interesting no title. no <laughs> um and uh, you watch the show and it's not an interesting show either um really the 58 the 58 or 5.8 percent rating would uh yeah that would yeah that would Tell you that uh, as well. Yeah. But like if you like generic isekai shows, hey, do I have a show for you? <laughs> Not this one. Any of the other ones. Well, I mean, hey, you can watch it while you're enjoying the other ones, but like this one <laughs> I guess. But I guess maybe you could. <laughs> but like this one <laughs> just don't. No. Yeah. If yeah. if you're yeah. a sensible person like the three of us, don't watch oh, this. Oh, that's show. questionable. Yeah. 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 Jay, you gonna watch episode three? No. <laughs> I'd ra- I'd rather drink acid. Oh, okay. And he's like he thinks like vinegar, like like yeah, or like lemon yeah, juice. Not yeah, like, 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 or like, yeah, like citric yeah. acid. Or like yeah. a, a nice soda. Yeah. 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 Um next up we've got uh okay, this one's just another the, great the title. Osen newbie adventurer trained to death by the most powerful party became invincible. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Now why is this on the list? Structure. Yeah. <laughs> Why, I don't know why, why this is this one here? made it on the list? Yeah. Um, I think because uh this was recommended to Mike. Uh <laughs> is that why we oh okay. Yeah. Uh, you made the recommended list. this to me. <laughs> I do make the it. list. <laughs> uh, I'm tired. Uh yeah. Osa Nubi, I know nothing about it. Why I, next. I, I don't want to watch it. <laughs> I watched like one episode continuing of this, this one? show. Oh, that's why. Yeah, Jay watched uh, it. Like, again. Yeah. Uh you you know you know uh what I said about uh the, the last show? I forget the name. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, copy paste. This? Control C, Control copy, V. Paste. Yeah, it, All right. it looks very <laughs> copy and paste from a lot of shows that are like this. Yeah, yeah. 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 All right, next, next. Uh, J- Mike, your number five show. Why does no? <laughs> why does nobody remember? Uh, me and what's the world? full title of this? <laughs> why does nobody remember me in this world? Is the full title question mark at the end? The rare question mark in the show title. <laughs> I, I always appreciate it. Um, frankly. 
This one, I, I I knew it was a gamble when I drafted it. It mm-hmm. looked it, it looked interesting. It looked like Sword Art Online and Gate a little bit, and that's mm-hmm. kind of what it turned out to be a little bit. It, it's kind of overpowered protagonist who's surprise surprise like a chosen one type situation, mm-hmm. and he's in a world that is essentially his world, but importantly his his humanity lost this big war and they're at the bottom of the food chain instead of the top and he kind of it, it's a very interesting premise i would say where this show falls short and trust me it falls short <laughs> um is that it's just like the dialogue is so yeah. light novelly <laughs> and so garbage it's, nobody talks that like that Nobody talks Nobody like that. Nobody talks like that. Like um, Nobody acts like that. No. Like I think I think uh one of the guys was like, Hey, you're you're someone I haven't seen before. Who are you? And it's like Yeah. Thanks for telling me that you don't know this guy, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Because that's the point of that dialogue. Yeah. It's very like it, it was it's honestly funny because in the first episode. Like, it starts off with, like, he's in his normal world before mm-hmm. he gets isekai to bizarro world of his own world. Mm-hmm. And he's, like, talking to this girl. And she's like, yes, my good friend, blank, uh, Kai. Yes, my good friend, Kai, who I've known since a child. Yeah. That I, I did have this lifelong <laughs> dream to be an uh, astronaut or whatever the hell it is. And I would like that if we, what, how do you see me as a friend? Are we friends or are we more? And then it's like, okay, I get you've set it up. I get yeah. what you're doing here. It's a, you just need a little, a little more. You, you know, you know. The only other thing that she could have done is literally like look directly into the camera and like winked or something. Yeah, like <laughs> you just need some nuance. It can't be just literally just straight up like exposition like you'd read on Wikipedia. Yeah, I, you know, like we just need a little bit of grace hey, here, hey, Mike. My author Mike, I've got one more thing for you. <laughs> What's that? Give me one thing about every character that sets them apart from each other. Uh, the main guy is gender. The the main guy is a guy, I guess. Mm-hmm. He's incredibly boring. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, he's clearly Sid. He's clearly Sid. I'll say. It's just I'm gonna just stay. I'm just gonna spoil that. I haven't read it. I don't know. Okay. He's clearly Sid. Mm-hmm. Uh, the girl Renee is. That, see, the thing is, the character designs are pretty good in this show. Renee's a good character design. See, she's I, the one. I'm not. I'm not asking about the designs. I'm asking about their personality. Um. <laughs> Yeah, they don't but. have personality. So there you that's go. Impossible. <laughs> yeah, there's no personalities. Dropped. Dropped. Next. Dropped. See, okay. next. see, Mike. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. But like, it's so bad that like it's kind of funny. No, it's not. <laughs> next. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, your number three show, Autry, my dear moments. My uh, dear tell moments. us about this robot. Okay. Uh, it people. is exactly what I thought it was, except it is also a little more cheery and sunny than i thought it was i would say but i also suspect that it's more cheery and sunny than i thought it was because we haven't made it to the end where it breaks my heart yeah i feel like it's gonna make a dark turn it's gonna have a dark ending and the op kind of alludes to that i I feel Mm -hmm. because at the very end of the op you'll see that there's like a very dark looking scene with like some guy with like lightning shooting out of his hand a little bit but so thus far it is essentially what you'd expect of oh guy finds robot girl robot girl seems very human uh they initially start off kind of cold to each other and now they're kind of like oh i kind of like this robot girl and i thought i kind of actually kind of chuckled to myself at one point because the main character literally says to another character if a robot becomes is made to be so human that you can't distinguish it from a human which do you value more, the robot or the human? Why do you treat them as a robot or a human? And I'm like, okay, yeah, you've said the whole point of the show now. Let me, you le- said the thing. Let me just bitch yeah. for a second. How yeah. many shows do we need like that, that ask that same question? Yeah. You we get like one show like... It, but like, we, man, we make isekai that do the same thing constantly. No, I know, so. I know. But like, everybody thinks this is such a deep question. It's like, we, 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 we go through this. All the time. See, it is a deep. You're going to fall in love with the it, robot yeah. at the end. See, yeah. it is it is yeah. a deep question, but when you literally say it point blank, it kind of loses <laughs> yeah. all of its meaning. It kind of loses some some luster. It yeah. is honestly. Now I see Jay has watched a little bit of this, and mm-hmm. I see that he has dropped it. But mm. I 
I do think it is at least interesting. It doesn't do anything too offensive. It is... I, I suspect the visual novel is probably better. And if you're a fan of visual novel, I don't know how they feel about this one. But I, I'm going to continue watching it. I think it's... I think it's decent. I don't I don't think it's done anything to bother me other than just being maybe I think it's a 7 out of 10 show is what I would say. It's it's definitely not like a great show but it's 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 good enough. Uh, and Autry is is like a little ray of sunshine that I like. She she is a good girl. Um yeah. My biggest problem with it is like it's take it takes way too much time to kind of set yes. up that like relationship where before like they obviously break it apart and the drama mm-hmm. hits. Mm. And it, it, you've kind of hit on it. it. It's paced a little slowly. Mm-hmm. And I don't, yeah. 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 But it's an interesting concept. The world's flooded. It's kind of like a post-apocalypse situation mm-hmm. where, but like kind of a very mundane apocalypse where like just the world flooded and like that's it. Isn't that how and, an apocalypse uh, would be? Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's kind of it's 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 very grounded. It's an interesting story. It's just like not a ton of. It seems to be picking up now. Like they just did a okay. whole thing arc where they're like, "Oh, we're trying to like find batteries because after the flood, all the power shut down, and we need ba- batteries are super hard to come by now." And mm-hmm. it's like, oh, it's kind of an interesting thing to think about. But yeah. I'm mm-hmm. going to continue it for sure. It's 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 sweet so far. It's going to hurt me, but yes. Michael Jay, be you will not pick, be picking this one back up. You I know assume. what? I'll pick it back up if like we get the ending and everyone online goes, "Oh, this is like act, it was, like like the Steinscape the thing happens." Yeah, and yeah, like it must get episode. good. Oh, it must get really good. Well, I mean, I've heard so many people who like the the visual novels say like, "Oh, this is one of the best visual novels ever." Yeah, but it's when does it happen. get to that good? <laughs> that's what I. That's what I mean. Yeah. It's, it yeah. must. It, let's hope it gets there soon. I'm kind of uh, worried that that that's just the costs or the sunk cost fallacy speaking. <laughs> it might be. It <laughs> might uh, be. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. My you my excuse about... for your uh, One Piece fanaticism. Yeah. How do you guys feel about VTubers though? I'm okay with them. I like VTubers. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Why? Why do you ask? Because our next show that we're talking about is VTuber Legend: How I Went Viral After Forgetting to Turn Off My Stream. Oh. You can turn that I off. This. <laughs> no, 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 don't, don't tell yeah. Jay that we don't can turn Jay the stream his camera off. turns off. Yeah. yeah. I thought, I thought I, that just runs concurrently. Yeah. <laughs> Jay's been just like poking his, he's like looking at his computer distrustingly from across the room. It's like that machine I, won't turn off. I know nothing about this show. So no, I know uh, that they played put it on your in it and stuff. Like once. Yes. There's literally, it just kind of seems up the, in the vein of like Nokaton where it's like just very like meme and uh, like brain rotty a little bit, but it just seems so meta about like the VTuber community and like just otaku culture kind of mm-hmm. that okay. I think it's worth mentioning at least. It seems every clip I've watched of it, I've actually kind of had a good time watching. I'm, I'd consider, I'm considering watching it just purely just for like all the references and stuff, but I feel like... Mm. As someone who's not really a VTuber guy, I don't know how much I would really get it. But like, I, mm. so the examples of the clips I've seen so far is like, there's one where like she's watching one of her streamer friends play Why Schwarz, mm-hmm. which is the game we used to play. And like, there's, it's like they, they clearly know the game and they're like, she's kind of like talking about it and like, it, it just seems interesting. And then the mm. other one was she goes over to another streamer's place and the streamer like kind of, holds her hostage and makes her a baby she's like <laughs> lost her mind i don't know it's a very weird show i'm interested okay. though all right yeah okay i feel like people are kind of sleeping on a little bit but i i mean that, I that sounds that interesting it. yeah I'll, I'll give it that it does sound interesting yeah. i don't know i i haven't even really like looked into it at all maybe i'll look into it check it out see what's going on i see what's what be into it was i heard our uh our mutual person that we all like, I think, of Mother's Basement talking about how it's a surprisingly good show. Mm-hmm. And then I saw mm-hmm. some clips and I was like, oh, actually, it is, seems pretty good. But that's kind of okay. all I have to say about it. Jay, do you have okay. any other things you've seen or anything? I Just the Weiss Wars thing, really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what show I have seen. What's that? What's that? Dead, Dead Demons 
de 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 destruction um i've watched it and mm-hmm. spoilers it's good uh the th- one of my favorite things about this show and mike didn't know this and i'm i i love springing facts on mike that he doesn't know because mm-hmm. mike knows everything that's not mike true at a all. lot mike knows a lot of things so when you i can when i can give him a fact everything? when i can give mike a fact that that pleases me uh the leads mm-hmm. are played by two singers Ano That's super cool. And uh, Lil- Lilis Ikuta, who's uh, the, the singer for Yaosobi. Um, mm-hmm. They also do the OP and the ED. Um, and I mean, hey, the story is super engaging. S- uh, very, very weird. Very, um, but like in, 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 in a, a, a way that like makes you want to keep watching. Uh, like, wait, what? Mm-hmm. Why are we here now? What, <laughs> what is going on? So then you watch the next episode, hoping that you get an answer. And mm-hmm. maybe you don't. Maybe you do. But you're, you're gambling. You're gambling with this show. Um, it's good. It's, uh, it's based on a manga uh, that we reviewed. We did review mm-hmm. it. On this if, if you want to check out, like, uh, old Annie Pro uh, reviewing, reviewing stuff. Uh, yeah, it was a while that. ago already. Yeah. Um, Probably the 80s, if I had to guess. 1980s, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like yeah, 84, the 80s, 1984. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, I will say that since our manga review, I, had, I did end up finishing the manga for this. And yes, mm. it does explain everything. And it also kind of doesn't explain everything because it, it, doesn't, it doesn't bother explaining like the re- weird one-off stuff a lot of it. Mm. But it definitely comes to a conclusion that kind of ties it all together, I'll say. Yeah. I'm assuming that's what we're going to get here with this season as well. Mm -hmm. Seems like it's adapting the whole thing, but yeah. And again, like just weird, ugly character designs that are Mm -hmm. somehow not ugly at the same time. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. It's the, the problem I'm having with it is it, it requires a lot of like mental bandwidth to kind of keep track of everything. So I've kind of fallen off of it. This will definitely be like a binge, though. This will be like a Steinsgate, yeah, I can you know, see twenty-four that. episode mm-hmm. binge where you just like crush it, and you're by the end, you're like, oh my god, yeah. And it's important to note that this. I feel like I don't think we said it, but this is by the author. the The manga was by the author of Good Night Poon Poon too, mm-hmm. yeah, as well. So yeah. it's it's got that kind of uh, pedigree Pres- to prestige, it. I'd say. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. No, definitely continue. Just not at it. this, not at this present moment. Mm-hmm. It will continue it. Okay. later yeah uh next up though we have another program uh love is indivisible by twins jay okay. begged and pleaded for us to put this yeah on here. uh he said i love twins Basil. So, so hold on hold on um <laughs> this show sucks <laughs> okay uh, oh okay. Um, all right and um, i hate twins basil the the, the, I hate the twins, twins are terrible people <laughs> um so basically the the show's about like um these twins who meet this guy when they're kids mm-hmm. and then like they both grow up to like him and then like okay. one asks him out and they date and then she breaks up with him because she finds out that her sister also likes him okay okay so like she kind of like forces the sister to go out with him but then the sister breaks up with him because she doesn't want to be with him for i'm some already reason. annoyed with the melodrama yeah, yeah. that sounds that's, stupid that's that's the correct yeah. response. Yeah. Um. That sounds very lame and boring and dumb and stupid. Yeah. Imagine two pieces of ham <laughs> slapping up against each other. <laughs> yeah, that's relevant. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we've said it all, actually. Yeah. yeah that's no, it. What more do we need to say about it. that one? Unless yeah. you want, like... Unless you're kind of like uh, you were into domestic girlfriend and you want more of that, I feel like this would ap- appease the domestic girlfriend crowd. I'm looking mm-hmm. at the recommendations and it has domestic girlfriend, kiss ex sis, yeah. and please twins. So yeah, this, this one's certainly for a certain audience, I would yeah. say. And it's not yeah. the three of us. <laughs> uh, next yeah. up, we've got Mayanoka Punch. Uh, yes. I just like the character designs in this. I don't know anything about it. So, I, there's another show I've drafted this season. PA Works did two original animes this season. And generally, their original animes are kind of good. And they usually look really good. And they kind of just have 
this is the other one that I didn't draft. Uh, and I think this is kind of the more popular one of the two for sure. It's, I don't know what it's really about, but uh, every clip I've seen has looked good. It's, mm. yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I have much to say about it other than if I'd say probably this one's worth checking out. If it's, if it looks interesting to you, it's probably worth checking out. Yeah. Jay, do you, do you have anything much? to say about this one? I've only heard it's really good, but like, I don't really know mm-hmm. anything about it. Yeah. Yeah. We've heard Monster good girls things or something's going on. Yeah. Yeah. The pink haired really, girl really... the pink haired girl looks exciting and intriguing. And sometimes I... you just need a good character design to draw you in. I believe the pink haired girl is a vampire for what it's worth. Well, I mean, hey. Goals maybe in. that's a thing that I like. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. I discover things about myself on Cole, the Cole, would podcast. you say that you have no emotion toward that? Um no, I have I have interest in it. I just haven't checked it out yet. Uh, interesting that you say that, though. It's almost mm-hmm. like it was a segue. Uh, the next show we're going to discuss was my fifth pick. My wife has no emotions, uh, which uh, seems to be getting dunked on by people. Well, I mean, it's sitting at a 60 right now, um, which seems appropriate. Uh, it's a cute show, but again, it's that same stupid question we get every every year. Every season, it seems, what if we can fall in love with a robot? Um, yeah, you can, apparently. Um, mm-hmm. People fall in love it with inanimate objects all the time. Yeah. It is interesting. I do like this, though, because they do kind of play the robot sometimes as, like, sometimes she responds to things as, like, just a robot. Mm-hmm. So it does kind of add that interesting thing where the the lead character is sometimes delusional about how the robot reacts to things and the robot kind of explains that this is just how she reacts mm. based on the stimuli that's given to her okay see that's uh, interesting because that's one of the things i kind of had an issue with autry about mm-hmm. is like autry is like almost impossibly human i'm like how is yeah like you know it, like it's you get a yeah, lot you, of a lot of in shows like this it's like uh uh, sh- they're a special robot and they learned how they, they were programmed to love or something stupid like that where this one it's like yeah there's a little bit of that underlying but like a lot of the things that she does is just like i looked up online and it said that you might like this so i did mm-hmm. this for you it's more believable um, yeah yeah there's kind of an underlying believableness to it in a weird way mm-hmm. um the I, I mean the animation in it uh, something like this you're not watching for great animation and you're not getting great animation with this one it's um the definition of a six out of ten yeah i was gonna <laughs> say it's it sure sounded six out of ten so. yeah i'll probably still continue it uh like I, i've read the manga and okay i i nice enjoyed the manga watch. it's chill yeah, yeah yeah it's inoffensive i would say yeah have you guys seen anything about it or Zero. just kind of what I've, I've just heard yeah. that like people don't like it online. Yeah. Is the, yeah. Yeah. I could see why people don't like it because of like the things that I've said. They're kind of thinking like, oh, well, the robot has to love him. And it's like, well, maybe the robot actually doesn't love him. Maybe she's just. Maybe she's not programmed to love. Maybe she's, she's programmed just to a feel house pain, robot. Though. Mm-hmm. Why? Why was I programmed why? to feel yeah. pain? Uh, yeah, so that's that one. Anyway, let's talk about quality assurance, Jay. Yeah, uh, I was really looking forward to this show when it... Oh, Mm -hmm. it's a show? Yeah. Oh, I wanted to talk about, like, quality assurance, like, as a concept. No, in another world, Cole. Yeah, in another another world. Okay. Okay, keep going. Yeah, uh... This this makes more sense. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I was Mm -hmm. looking forward to this show because, like, it looked very interesting. The character designs were, like quirky and fun looking like kind of mm-hmm. like that konosuba feeling it seemed like konosuba meets like cooking campfire cooking in another world to me kind this of? was the vibe i yeah. got kind of when you were hyping it up to me a yeah little bit. and like um i watched the first episode and like it had it's kind of one of those shows where it's like oh this is uh this is interesting and then it has a twist at the end of episode one that like normally episode one twists are supposed to make you go like whoa that's crazy i need to know what happens next but it's more like in this show it's like 
whoa, that's crazy. Anyway. <laughs> mm-hmm. I I have heard that this one it, it on the surface seems quite like lighthearted. Mm-hmm. And then the the thing that I've heard about it is that it really takes itself too seriously. And that is to its detraction. But A little know. bit. But like at the same time, I the way the the seriousness happens, it doesn't really do anything um in how it's set up to make me interested in more. Okay. If if it was more of just like a lighthearted isekai show that like had like silly character designs and stuff like that, I'd probably be more into this. But it it just isn't that. So mm-hmm. maybe I'll check out the manga, but like that's a that's a big maybe and a big like 5.5 out of 10. Mm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, unfortunate. Yeah. But you know what else is unfortunate? What's that? How they how they screwed this one up. Uh plus size elf. Uh you'd think this would be like uh a show that people would get behind in the same way that like uh how heavy are the dumbbells you lift or mm-hmm. something like That's that. That's what I thought sh- anyway. But this show's way down the list for popularity. It's way down the list for audience score. 53% by the way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um I have read some of the manga as well and uh the source material is also not great. I don't oh, okay. know what everybody was getting uh getting behind with this one. Uh yeah, it's horny, sure. That's but, the only uh, thing I see redeeming from this, I think, is that it, um, it's quite it's way hornier than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it's just kind of Kind of mid, I yeah. feel like, uh, yeah, it was it was a miss on this one. It was, yeah, uh, and I didn't realize it was short. They're only ep- eleven minutes long, apparently. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that either. Yeah, yeah, this will not be a continuing from me. <laughs> yeah, have you even? <laughs> yeah, I'm have not, you even like started, started it? it. Yeah. No, I it's not even a starting for you. <laughs> no, I I I said it uh, in the first half. I haven't even seen a clip from this show. Like yeah. nobody nobody is talking about this show online. I think it's probably because the clips probably get like taken down because it's <laughs> they're quite. It seems quite edgy from like the screenshots I've seen. Like, yeah. Hmm. It, yeah. It's, it strikes me as one of those. I can't believe this isn't hentai type shows. Yeah. 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 Oh well. You know what isn't though. What and is kind of delightful and wholesome is Nare Nare Chair for You, the ah, last show we will speak of. This yes. was your number number five four pick. pick. Oh, four pick. Four. Number four pick. Yes. Uh, so when I talked about it before, I basically said it looks like a it was an original work, so you kind of don't know what you're getting into there. But it's by PA Works, which has a pretty good track record. Mm-hmm. And I was saying that I think it's one of those like cool one of these like the latest one of the cute girls doing cute things while looking mm-hmm. really nice because mm-hmm. it's like a good well animated show with like vibrant colors and stuff and honestly that kind of holds true the only reason why i think this one's kind of falling between the cracks is that like there's a lot of characters in it and there's a yeah. very it's like it's pretty it doesn't seem like it's really going anywhere at this point like it's kind of just stuff is just happening and i'm not sure what the end game is but okay. like it, it does still looks good it still is interesting enough to keep me tagging along Mm. i'm going to continue it for sure but it's just like i can see why people would fall off because it's just we're halfway through and like i can't feel like i could tell you what the point of the show is they're cheerleaders yeah but it's like it's (laughs) the way it's set up you would think Mm. that there's more going on because like Mm -hmm. there's uh, a friend who is disabled there is a uh, friend who's like a st- an unsuccessful streamer and they're all becoming friends and it's just i i don't know it just i feel like it's just it it's just not having it doesn't have the juice it doesn't have the the coherency that i think it needs it's trying cojones. to do too many it's trying to wear too many hats i think is probably the problem mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah but it yeah. sure looks nice yeah well i mean hey if it looks nice sometimes that's all you need right maybe maybe, maybe. if it looks nice maybe then not. maybe you'll look at it twice Ah, oh, oh, a Jism original, <laughs> mm-hmm. um, trademark. Yeah, <laughs> so that's all the shows that we're going to talk about uh, for for this uh, 
this season. Um, let us know what you're watching this season. Let us know what you're thinking of the shows mm-hmm. this season. Is this yeah. a good season? Are you looking forward to fall? Because this is a a desert wasteland of shows. Are there any shows that we so. didn't talk about that you're watching that uh, mm-hmm. that you're interested in? Mm-hmm. Yeah, tell us about uh, Terminator or whatever. There's a Terminator and anime. Terminator Zero. Yes, there is. And also tell us your worst popcorn uh, or your worst uh, movie theater snack too. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I want to know. Give us, know. give us your worst. Give yep. us your worst. Thank you so much for listening to another episode of Annie Pro. If you liked it, please leave a like, subscribe, leave a review, tell a friend about us. If you really like us, why don't you consider supporting us on Patreon like these lovely people? Mr. Family Guy 36, Elijah Wood, Brain Dead, B Dog, Nina Tucker's best waifu, Peach, Frama, Kratos, Just Juz, Mog Mog, Freerun's Feet, Antonio Bustos, and Uncle of Light. By supporting us on Patreon, you get access to all sorts of perks, and it really helps out the show. We're also on social media, at AnnieProPod, and please join our Discord community to keep up with us and other listeners. Links to everything is in the description or at our website, AnnieProPod.com. Mm-hmm. Um, Jalian, my friend... Before Jalen goes, our yes. listener's choice poll is currently going and will be wrapping up soon. So make sure that you get those votes in. The links ah, yes. are mm-hmm. available everywhere. We have social media as well as they're, they're all linked in the episode description. If you scroll down. Also be sure to there. vote on more than one place because every right. single place counts as one vote toward our thing. It's like the Electoral College. Yes. And we will so announce the winner at, at the end of our Berserk review yes. in a couple yes. weeks. Which yeah. Just look forward to that one too. Uh, also, also you have to read twenty three chapters of Don Don. Uh, yeah, that's due in three weeks. Two, yeah, three weeks, a few weeks. Read. So take away this. Read Don to Don, and help us decide what sports anime we're going to watch after Berserk. Yes, and watch Berserk. And watch Berserk twenty sixteen. Well, well uh, no, watch it. Well, watch it. Watch it. Everyone, watch it with us. It'll be a good time. It'll be fun. I promise. Uh, I think I promise. Cole's. It'll I be think, fun. Don't I think Cole's him. on that copium. Don't trust him. He's broken. Yeah, he's it's coping. Be, yeah, that's copium. So fun. I it's can't wait for him so to come on and be like, "Why did I make us watch this?" Anyway, <laughs> I think Mike. I think <laughs> you and I are going to be like, "Cole, why did you make us watch this?" That, it might be our first why. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well. Yeah. It's going to be a good time. Mike, take it away. No, Jay was taking it away. No, you're taking it away now. I'm <laughs> oh, okay. audible. Yeah, you took and it away as, from uh, me. <laughs> as Cole forces us to say at the end of every episode of the Annie Pro say podcast, it. say it. <laughs> Jay, take it away. Bye bye. <laughs> None of us said it. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. It'll all be out of order. <laughs> Everything's. We practical his brain. <laughs> Mission successful. <laughs>